Oh, hello, hi. So, um, fun fact, I've only just noticed, uh, whilst editing, throughout this recording, there is a constant on the screen, unfortunately. Here is the 4K monitor I often reference right here. As such, uh, it's there. I do apologise. I didn't realise it was there until it was too late. So, mm, not much I can do about that. Uh, it obscures nothing, but it is there and it is really annoying for both of us. I could only make it more annoying. I will run it as is right now and we'll see. Firstly, welcome back. Thanks for joining. What happened last week? Is a good question because I've already forgotten. <laughs> a briefly recall. Eh, I briefly. I briefly recall a fate betwixt. Um, you know, a, a fate with like some some bad guys and um, some asshole that actually no one liked dying. So like you know it was. It was the world's greatest death, even though it happened off screen. Everyone's like, yes, fuck yeah, she's gone. Woo, party. It was it was great until everyone got back to the castle and realised it was weird because they were locked out. And then in coming back in after their little lockout, they found some Salamnia guards who weren't very talkative. Um, a few moments later, they found out why the undead weren't very talkative. They walked into the very quiet castle and realised that it was really quiet because everyone's fucking dead. And they found a nice man. He was a, a jovial man. He was very much talkative in regards. He, oh, he had a name and that name was Cardock. Oh man, I'm, I'm doing great by the way. <laughs> in meeting this man and doing his thing, he mocked the party. In his mocking ways, the party were like, yeah, no, don't care. Uh, for everyone, this is the Salamnic guard that was by the door, if last you recall. Walking into the room, you saw this beautiful man who said, you know, yo, bow down to your new leader, started reading his little book, little um, scroll. People not very happy with him in that regard. Um, you know, people tend not to like to be mocked. Who knew? And, um, well, they, they outright killed him. The Geneva Convention was broken. War crimes were committed. And the party got the scroll. And they got to read what was on the scroll. And when they did, it definitely set... Um, well, it set you on edge. As you read the name, People of Calama, and I exert my rightful right as claim as ruler of the province of Nightland. Submit or flee. Lord Lauren Soth. That was enough to make <clears throat> was enough to make everyone shit themselves a little. Those who knew knew. Those who didn't soon found out, and they knew that their good friend that they were fighting was taking care of something. He was a distraction, as it were. He's now standing in this room, Barbaralis, mm -hmm. who stands. In the main courtyard. Browse yourself. As you stand guarding the door, listening, you kind of hear some short gasps from the outside. Before you watch as this imperial figure just floats through the wall, through the foyer, and round through. This figure has a photo somewhere. Right? She had a photo, right? She didn't. Oh well. Oh, she do. You seen this. Just walk through the wall. 
Uh, where's everyone else? Uh, in the room down here. The there's a name for it. What, what council chambers. Here? Yeah, the council chambers. Which uh, you can tell the ghosty figure is heading to. Uh, I'll just kind of sneak behind her, follow her. <laughs> yep. As you are sneaking behind, as you are reading this, the ghostly figure enters the room. I've literally just been shouted to come and get my fucking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a minute to soak in the ghosty. Is a banshee? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh oh. If it's a banshee, Roll we need to stop. Check. We need to s history check. Okay. Eleven. I have no idea. No. What? Well, I'm gonna give it a go. This will not go my way. That's about physical. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> How much advantage do you have on that when you rolled it? How much advantage did you have on your history check? Have you got any pluses? I have no pluses. Yeah, neither do I. But I was thinking I wasn't going to get very high. Guys, you're doing great. Come up in here. Let me see those numbers. Um, 51. I'm going to throw some salt <laughs> down real quick. So, Woo. funniest thing is, Baralis remembering something. This woman was at the funeral. She was at the funeral. No one seemed to interact with her, no one seemed to care that she was there, but... <laughs> this elven figure was at the funeral of Espen Greenshield. Many a seasons ago, and by that I mean like one. <laughs> and she enters the room. You could have sworn yourselves that this room was fucking empty a moment ago. As you look at her and her face seems to start contorting with almost panic. You must hurry. She points towards this corner here. I see the corner of a circle, Matthew. You are a fucking genius. Beneath the castle, there's a, a crypt. He's raiding the crypt as we speak. He knows what he wants. You must stop him. Watch as her eyes are widening and widening. She speaks of this person as if she knows who they are. Stop who? Soth. Oh shit. I guess there, there's no time like the present. Which way did she point? West. Down west. 
There's a set of stairs outside Bralis. As you've been over here, this you can look over. Yes, there are a set of stairs going down. As you look, they are emanating a odd purple light. I guess I am playing two characters right now. That's where it's going to go. Rule one. Okay. What kind of light? Like purple? Um, purple is the only word I can really give you. It's as if something has been illuminated and lit, mm. but it's never been lit like that before. Not like a barrier or something? No, no, no. Just a odd, an odd, as if like, Torches or sconces have been lit with a purple flame. Uh, Exodus, mm -hmm. insight check. If you're seeing something, we can hear you, mate. Yeah, I can't hear you either. He's not in the. Hello? You guys Hello? hear me now? Hear you now, yeah. yeah. Talking the whole time. Um, I'm sorry. I in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, he's making an inside check against the ghost. Uh, just, just in case, but uh, no dice. Yeah, it's a hard to read, given a ghostly visage of someone you've never actually, someone you know actually. I say I was going to say met, but interacted with before. There is a worry on their face. Whether or not it's genuine would be up to yourself to ascertain. Um, he would look to Reynard and be like, "Or is Reynard in the room, or is or is this Reynard?" Sorry, I'm I'll, still learning. I'll run. Um, Reynard is. Who's the person in this call you wish to speak with? <laughs> Reynard. Yeah, so John, so I'll, I'll run it back a bit because you were having mic issues and we didn't clock that. So I'll run it back maybe just as she's come in the room and said what she said before you are all downstairs. Alright, he would just say, could you by chance use your belly thing to tell if that's actually a ghost? Fine sense? Yeah, he's, he's asking if he can do that to see if this is actually a ghost and maybe not just some sort of illusion to lure us into a trap or something. Um, but if Renard doesn't want to do that, then that's up to him. He's just, let's go, then let's go. How about over here? You know, you what, sorry? I, my Discord locked up on my other computer. Hmm. It's odd. Yeah. Uh, as I, I don't know if what of anything um but X has said you caught then. Um not much. Um as this would say, uh do we know this this ghost is to our attentions, we don't know a lot. Uh could you divine sense to see if she is truly a ghost and not some other form of illusion magic. Well, let me see. <clears throat> and I have run it back a bit, so you are before you're down there. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm down there. I can't see anything. You just want me to roll? You uh, do I and see? If you wish to roll it, you can. Um, I will move you back upstairs real quick. Um, one. There you go. Sure. Um, yeah, 
So, oh, good. Hmm. So you do feel, you do feel ghostly about this person. They don't ring, nor do they smell. But they are technically, you, you do get that feel from them that they are in fact undead. There's nothing in regards to what you, you know, there, there's no proof otherwise now to say that they are not. In your heart of hearts, this is a true, this is a true undead. All right, I really like relay that to the crew. You nod and just say, I'm just a bit off just after Fane, and then you'd go to rush with everyone else down the stairs. <clears throat> I'll throw the Renard token back down, I'll throw the Bryn token down. There's a teleporter on the stairs, guys. <laughs> okay, all I see is black. All that I see. Absolute horror. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> gonna do that thing. Lighting, token vision, cool. Um, I can give you one reason. Dark. Give you one reason why all you see is black, mate. It's dark. Me. I have devil sight. <laughs> I have yeah, no you should you. you should be able to see Exodus. So give me a little second, <clears throat> and I'll give you that. You said there was a purple light coming from down here. That provides no light at all. So it's the setup on here. Give me a little moment. Uh, la, 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 la. Sixty foot devil sight, correct? One hundred and twenty. Let me populate it cool. as well. Bim bim bang. There you go. My current time is playing war. Is playing cleric has definitely fucked with me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm not going to colour them, but these are sconces lit. So, <clears throat> here's what we got now. As you as go down, uh, <clears throat> door frame sculpted with sombre night stands in an alcove in this corridor. The door frame, once sealed but shattered bricks, now lie scattered across the floor. Beyond the opening, a steep flight of stairs descends down to the below. Violet light and the sounds cracking and flames emanate from this area. As you go down, you catch the oddest glimpse of something you'd never, never quite thought you'd ever see. You see this visage, almost. It seems to just oh. in flame. They create this photo almost before evaporating. These are in here. The stairs have descended into a stone chamber engulfed with flames. And the fire stands four dignified statues of Knights of Salamnia. At the east end of the room, lies an antechamber before the stone double doors. A fifth statue depicts a bison-headed warrior. It should be this one here. Yourself, Bernard. Your background. You know these statues here are historic leaders of the Knights of Salamnia. And the statue all the way at the other end of the room it's a statue of the god Kiri Joloth. Yeah, I should know that well. <clears throat> She's our. What's the god's name? Kiri Joloth. K I R I dash J O L O T H. Hey. You say the doors look like they were destroyed? Was that recent or that was doors as you were coming down and that was very recent. There was dust still settling from it. The weird 
the weird violet fire that you seem to be walking through also doesn't seem to be giving off any heat. Mm. Uh, follow the way Soth went. Yeah, I so, mean, yeah. beautiful this is, we just gotta go. I need I'll a torch. <laughs> Oh. I'm light a torch. You can right click your token. At the very top, there is a little torch, and that will spark a torch. You would, however, have to either drop your shield or drop your sword, one or the other. I'll see my sword. So, oh, that's it as well. See here as well. As you are walking through. The fire sparks once more as a knight of Salamnia saves a group of elven travellers from ogre raiders. The elf woman falls into the knight's arms, and behind him, a silhouette of a human woman turns and fades away. Heavy fire. Whisper a quick prayer as I walk past the statue of my god, and oh, hey, a door! <laughs> yeah, rather large door. Mm, Closed. Closed. Yes. Um. Whoever took their time to come through here also had the weirdest sense of. I suppose the word I'm looking for. Don't let the, don't let the heat out. <laughs> yeah. Conserving Not heating outdoors, <laughs> damn it. Conserving the heat. <laughs> Who were you raised? A bar? Uh, listen at the door. You don't hear anything from the door. The door doesn't say anything. You don't hear anything from behind the door. Open the door. I can't. What? Sorry. Hey. You, you would have to technically be on here, but I will happily open doors for you. This long chamber blazes once more with violet flames. You can you can really definitely tell that like I'd only just recently gotten to this part. <laughs> um I just threw up some fucking fire here and there, you know. Um <laughs> The walls are lined with alcohol to thin each lie bodies wrapped in yellowed cloth. A brazier rests at the end of the hall. A section of the wall has been smashed to the southwest, creating a crude tunnel to the catacombs beyond. The southeast stands to the southeast stands a closed door. That's that's around a fucking corner, man. <laughs> oh, I just got barbecue sauce all over the book. Barbecue sauce lands. Oh no! It's alright. There we go. The goods are covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> ah, uh, fifteen forgotten knights of Salamnia are buried here in the alcoves. Each with their own now rusted armor and longsword. So you say the hole is this way? Yes. I'm going to make the assumption that. Yeah, that's I'm the huge trying to draw like You're trying to walk? This way. Oh, I put a gotcha. wall there. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah, you can then move through if you wished. Oh. As you walk over and you watch it's from there. Two spectral knights of Salamnia arise. I need everybody to roll in a shift. I, I I was gonna ask real quick, or should I wait until after for my religion check? I wanna make a religion check about something. I'll give you the religion check right now, yeah. Alright, um, I wanted to see if, um, give me one second. Yeah, I wanted to see if, two, alright. Um, alright, sorry. I wanted to see if the the fire images resembled anything else in the church, as if maybe one of the knight statues or something resembled the... The, the knight in question, or perhaps this is an apparition from, like, a ghost from before, showing us memories. Because, like, the woman in the, the first image, she looks like she's in pain, and the man above her looks kind of smiling. But 
I'll, like I'll give you a religion off. check on that, yeah. By all yeah. means, Chief, run it through. Alright, alright. That's a twenty. Dirty 20. Oh, that's beautiful though. Um Wow, so see the room. I could have used that one like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> You, having watched this, in the funniest and weirdest way possible, history is something that you seem to revel in in certain places. You know, you know weird stuff that not many other people would. You know that that particular scene you just saw seems to be the start of the tale of Lord Soth. And the end of days before the cataclysm, some 352 years ago. Ah. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, he would have mumbled something about this to his party earlier, but um, now is the time for combat. That's right. Melano, as these two figures arise next to you. E. Uh, let me see how many. I'm also going to check something real quick, just for the safety. Don't worry. Mm. Ah. I'll do face step. You are set Over to winter, yeah? Winter? Yep. Here. From last little winter gives you. Mm. Frightened of me. Make a wisdom saving throw. Alright. Got yeah, yeah. I'm gonna set pop the sheet out for my own benefit. Is you gonna? The ghost just needs to and follow you the entire time. Just past. Okay. I'll um, target this one then and cast Moonfire on it. Yeah. <clears throat> Hold on, give me a sec. Um. What did you select? Um, the one over here? No, no. When you when you create an Aladrin, you get to pick your. Um... Yeah, we're gonna say meets it beats it for this time. However, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix your sheep because it's it's definitely not let you pick what you should be. That should be using your charisma, and it's using your wisdom instead. Your charisma caster. So why wouldn't you be using charisma? You know. Hmm. Ups the DC of your face step to meet your spell casting modifier, your spell cast as well. Ah, okay. So, this one here, you want it to make the dexterity sab and throw of 16. Yeah. It's yeah. a natural 18. Okay. Did anything else your turn? Mm, that's me. Alright. Well, it's over to Boralus. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gonna... Bralis, you make a con save real quick. Uh, Attack of opportunity, mate. There wasn't, it wasn't you or anyone. Yeah, you were. You were next oh, to the wraith. Wraith here, you were that... here. What diagonal does that count? Oh. You moved through a party member because you left the five foot gap. I'm, I'm running it that you kind of squeezed through Baral, uh, through Exodus. <clears throat> Good news is. You pass. So, um. I get three attacks, yeah. Yep, you have three attacks. You also take 23 necrotic damage. What does this say? I've got something on my screen. Roll a concentration check for Baralis. What the fuck are you concentrating on again? I don't know. Uh, just. I'll just say no. Don't worry. So I'm pretty sure it was something from earlier. Uh, 21 for 8 will hit. 
And can I do favored four? Yeah. If you have any uses of it, I think you do. Yeah, it's special because I've hit them. Oh, you get two out of three, so favored four. So 21 for eight plus one D four. So if you want to roll a D four on there. Okay, so 8, 9, 10, and you have two more attacks. Uh, 24 for 5 makes 15. But the 8 will miss. <clears throat> Let me check in favoured foe. Is that on every attack or just the one? In that every turn. Every attack up for a minute. Cool, cool. So in that case, then you got 8, 10, 15, 16, 17. No, you've done three, mate. Oh, I only clicked it twice. It rolled in eight for four. Uh, the twelve would also miss it anyway, so don't worry. That's all. You're gonna fire them off, you know. They all hit. <clears throat> Didn't else your well, the all bar one hit. Didn't else your turn, man? No, that's it. Cool. Bryn. Oh, she's all the way over here. I am Bryn. <laughs> I'm actually a legend. I'm... Bryn will rock on up. Um, <clears throat> and she will battle the axe. Battle the axe. Uh, 22 for 6 and a 16 for 6. Both hit for 6. Uh, will Bryn do anything else with her turn? Nope. She could smite, but not with that many spell slots. Bernard. Do these appear to be ghosts of knights? <clears throat> yeah, they are ghosts of, they are wraiths of uh, knights of Salamnia. <clears throat> I approach back up and I say to them, spirits of knights of Salamnia past, I am Renard, Knight of the Sword, and for service to our god, Kiri Joleth. Stand aside and let us pass so we can pursue Lord Soth and foil his plans, whatever they may be. Mm. He watches the race turn to look at you, and they don't seem very phased by what you're saying. Oh, great. <clears throat> oh, that's a fucking hot wing. <laughs> you said... <clears throat> is that my turn? Or I still oh, no. Talking's free. Talking's free. All right, I'll drop torch, pull the sword. And go attack the one right in front of me. Yep. All right, let's Sorry, see. what did Bryn do? Two battle axe attacks, both hit. Okay. So let's see. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> 13 will hit. For 7, 9, plus crit. 9, 17, 27. Total of 27. Total of 34 damage. Um, they're undead, so I get another D8. That you do. Oh, 34 plus 8 to make a total of 42 damage for a total of 21 damage. 21? Son of a bitch. How many half damage that? I'll tell you right now, I thought that, um, I genuinely thought that anything that's classed as undead would have issues with Radiant, but Radiant doesn't bother these guys. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. That's right, right, Moonfire. 20, 21. I took off 21. Okay. I'm going to add 21 back on right now because, as I just said, they have no issues with Radiant. So, 
7 plus 2 plus 8 plus 6 plus 1 plus 3 makes a total of 27 divided by 2 makes a total of 13 plus 15 for the radiant. There's, yeah, there's no resistance, immunity, or vulnerability to Radiant. <laughs> Even though they're undead. Oh, Yeah, you go. Yeah. Swing, swing. I don't know if you're talking about. Um, nope. Yeah, then I will. Figure that one out, but okay. Move it over to Rebel. Um... Not magical, believe it or not. Um, they couldn't give a fuck if your attacks are magical. Rebel will take the dodge action. Exodus. I will do as Exodus does. I have the rapier out. I'm going to get the rapier out. Um, that means I have disadvantage on my attacks, right? Yeah. Alright, so he's going to complain. He's going to verbally say out loud. He's like, why the fuck? Are you so heavy? Stop I'm fighting. So I can't. What the fucker? And then he's just gonna uh, attack uh, this big Sag guy, this big wraithy boy over here. Uh huh. Thirteen. Uh huh. All right. If that hits, then I did say booming blade, right? Uh huh. I think so. All right. Either either way, it's a bonus action. Yep. Sneak so that's the sneak six. So currently looking at eleven, rounded down to five. Yep. And then booming blade. I hate that I have to. I hate that. Eleven down to seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, nine, total damage. No, it's yeah. It's not the seven. The sevens. If it's moved, the four is the additional. Then fifteen, half seven, total damage. Alright, and then I will skedaddle on out of here. Looney Tunes noises. Wing, 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 wing. Um, legs. <laughs> gonna... uh... <clears throat> yeah, all the, all the way back here. All right. He's keeping the lookout. No, that'll be his turn. Kia, kia, kia. Wraith. <laughs> well, it's the Wraith here in front, so. Um. Yeah, no, it can't do that, don't worry. It's gonna take its hand and place it out in yourself, Bernard. Uh, 19 hits. Uh, can I have a con save, please? Mm. Your hit point maximum is reduced. And you also uh... take 19 damage. The race here by Bryn will essentially do the same. And out, Bryn will make the check. Oh, fuck's sake. Why are we rolling bad on our saves, guys? <laughs> he says rolling bad on the save. Uh, Bryn takes 20. No, wait, no, Bryn's good. The fuck am I saying? An 11 doesn't hit Bryn. My head's up my <laughs> ass, excuse me. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, um, I will keep targeting the one I've been targeting and mind sliver it. Intelligence saving throw. Turns mm -hmm. out the undead aren't very intelligent. Yeah, so you yeah. give it the old wham bam, thank you, ma'am. And, and the then uh, d4 from their next saving throw. Okay, okay. Then else your turn? That's me. Baralas. Hmm. Uh, okay. uh, I'm gonna fling down healing spirit. Alright. <clears throat> And where are you popping that? And I'll put down a little template for you. In front of me. Do it. 
Yeah. I see RJ's logged in, which is fantastic. Uh, that's, a, that's a tail, Matthew, you fucking... <laughs> there we go. Uh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Healing spirit and it's red. RJ, just in time. Scott, maybe Scottish Madarlin, how are we doing? Ah, uh, doing not too bad yourself. Uh, I'm doing all right, doing all right. Um, learning, learning human contact, discovered, well not discovered, but in hindsight I should have walked the road to her class today. And sh but um, we have next time, we have next time. But, the brothers, you're gonna fire this off, walk into it, take a nice five heal. Uh, do anything else for your turn, is that as well a bonus action? Yeah, there's only a bonus. Uh, I'll step back out of it. And then attack. Yep. <clears throat> An 18 for 8 will hit. Is that it? Do I only get one attack now? No, you get two. I keep forgetting how it works. Is it? Alright, so it's three for the first attack and then two for every, every other one. subsequent attack. Right. And his favourite full still thing, yeah? So it yep. will still be plus four. So you can reroll, you can take the two or you can reroll the d4 and, for lack of a better term, have faith in the dice. But it's a d4, it's a triangle, so how much space can you really have? Oh wait, so, wait, what do you mean? So if I do that, I can't attack again? No, I I let I let you take the damage or reroll the damage. Like if you get a two, I'll let you reroll it. However, there's a chance you'll get a three. There's also the same chance you'll get a one, but you've got to keep the roll that you take. Or you can keep the two. There's like your choice. Oh. <laughs> Nine piercing damage. You tried. Hey. Uh, Heart uh, of the cards, Yugi. A 13 for 3 will also hit. So a 13 for 4 plus 8 makes 12, makes 6. Then anything else on your turn there? Uh, no. Cool. RJ, you good to go? Yeah, uh, no long rest, right? We're just going raw. These are the and and also are these the things that we had to fight with the horses? No, no, you fought okay. something else with the horses. Okay, so I was just gonna ask if that token looked familiar, but not like familiar. But I also wanted some more horses. For, for yourself, go. for your own context, um, just because you weren't here for it, you are in the basement of Castle mm -hmm. Calaman. Uh, where there is a crypt here that you just didn't quite know about. These guard here, these wraiths in front of you, are dressed in full Knight of Salamnia gear. They are forgotten soldiers. Okay, then it should be fitting that I go at the one in front of me with this. Okay, that that, that didn't go out well. Yep. But, um, yeah. That one will do it though, 12 for 6. Is you going to bring down and then swipe once more before coming in again. I oh, had you right. on the battle yeah. axe, but if you're using that, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was... Uh... <laughs> that's alright. You drop the battle axe uh, and you use the greatsword. Thank you. Yes, please. Did and let me check to make sure. Ah, oh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh. Fuck, never mind. I have nothing else to do in my turn. I was looking for Kite in a Shell, which was the wrong campaign. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bernard! <clears throat> yep. I'll we'll stay on this guy in front of me. Let's go make sure that we hit. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. <laughs> yeah. 24. Oh. Baby, uh, so let's see when you make an attack of the weapon, you're gonna roll against creature because that attack double advantage. If the attack hits, you roll a d8 in the number. Um, yeah, so um, roll two d8s. Yeah, that's it. Right, so uh, it does say once per turn when you do it, however. A 13 still hits, so worry not, okay. we can still keep, so 13, 14, 15, that's 17, 29, and then 
You only take one, so you got six there, so 29, 35. Halved. I fucking hate math. 17. Uh, you rounding down or up? Uh, down. Uh, uh, 17. 17? Boof. You kind of look at it, the armor and such seems to be spectrally withering away and the creature's becoming more and more tangible or intangible, whichever one is easier to see through. <laughs> then anything else for your turn? Uh, no. Okay. Nope. Now, <clears throat> swash us over to Revel. Revel will take a five foot stand up. You're going to watch this. They click their finger and fire off towards yourself. Uh, this wraith here, who is at half cover, you're gonna watch as he <laughs> hits the wall. Um, world's worst luck for Revel, that's two nat ones. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Disadvantage. End turn. <laughs> Exodus. I am gonna say, um, I just gonna do what he gonna do? <clears throat> for example, I was gonna say that little dice on your token just represents the fact that you have inspiration that you can use. Right. Um. When I use inspiration, right? Uh, do I advantage. roll it? Do I? I get a roll again? Uh, you can use it to re-roll, or you can use it to gain advantage. However, you if you're using it to gain advantage, you gotta use it before you make the attack. So this is fifteen. I'm going kidney corner, 25, if I can. Can I attack on an angle? Yeah, yeah, if you you can see the majority of that, so yeah, by all means. Uh, Alright, I have disadvantage anyway, which he's going to curse at once more. About this thing, like, just being a bitch. Um, 12 and a 7. Take it, that does not hit. 12 with miss. Just uh, bonus action dashing. Yeet, getting yeet, right yeet. here. <clears throat> and that's his turn. Okay, just uh, taking my notes, remembering that you're the one that you're the one that somehow knew the story. <laughs> um, what do you mean I see the story? It's like, oh yeah, the story of Lord Soth. That's fucking familiar. Nate of Salamnia. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> well, <laughs> Renard, he is an acolyte. <laughs> Renard, you're good. He's going to watch as it places its hand out, but it does not quite seem to grasp you. Ooh. This one moves into within here, and as it does, we'll place its hand out towards Boralus. Straight messes. Melano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I guess I'll keep my sliver that one. Oh, hi, Jalen. Uh, hi Scottish. Do you know what contemplated phone on your cell phone? Um, you could have. I, I, that, nice... I thought that'd be stepping a boundary. <laughs> no, you're good. I took a nice little nap. This one here, Melano? Um, yeah. Yep. Straight fails. Why did I roll that again? Uh, <clears throat> not one. Yay. And it is, you watch it as damn near gone like there it almost looks like there's just a light shining on renard's face at this point did anything <laughs> else your turn i would like to quicken spell yeah yeah and do another mind sliver and they have to do a minus d4 <laughs> no they don't it got a six <laughs> <laughs> fails you can all watch it seems to <sighs> ah, it's away do you have anything else your turn? Mm, nope. Alright. Boralus, this ugly looking fucker is in front of you. But don't say that to Bryn's face, she's self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, we all love Bryn. Is it dead? No selected or assigned actor could be found. That's because you're you need to click on yourself afterwards. It's so fucking weird, man. That would be at disadvantage. 
So uh, hover over the 13 and hit the, because you're within five foot. An 11 will miss, because you get a wow. Uh, wait, okay, so I'll do that and then just minus it. An 18 for eight will still hit for four. Don't, anything else you're trying there, my guy? Is that, that doesn't include the um, favoured four thing, does it? Yep, uh, if you want to roll the favoured four though. I mean, I got none to lose to it. Was or you can, <laughs> you can use the one as well. <laughs> no. No. Yes. Two for one. Two. Great. Yep, do anything else you're trying there, man? Uh, Next turn it will be free for free. Like, possibly. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, let me just check something. Um, okay. I'm going check something on yourself real quick for this. Uh, favorite four. All right. The choice now is yours. Are you concentrating on favoured foe or are you concentrating on healing spirit? Because they are both oh, actually okay. concentration. Let me check. So, um, the spell description of favoured foe as a, of a healing word at the bottom it says concentration and for mm -hmm. favoured foe it says when you hit a creature a mystical bond target set for one minute or until you lose concentration. I'll, I'll do uh, a... What's it called? Healing Spirit. Okay then. It uh, gains its one back. <clears throat> However, since you've also not been hit, the Healing Spirit is still there. That's like a minute as well, so that's like ten fucking rounds. Do you if I move from here, it will get <laughs> attack of opportunity, right? Yeah, if you move, it gets opportunity of attack. Attack of opportunity. Although, although you can also like you know um, for yourself check your shit, and you can also like drop the longbow in exchange for the uh, longsword, and you still get two attacks. Like right now, on mm -hmm. your next turn, like it's you a, can just... it's a free action, but you can only do like you can attack with one weapon and then change it, but you have to wait until the next turn to attack with it. Oh okay. Oh yeah, okay, I'll do that. Right okay. Yeah. So you, you're gonna drop that. Yeah. And I'll fire us over to Bryn. Bryn, the absolute crazed Kender paladin who probably should have been a barbarian now that she thinks about it. <laughs> Too long now in this career path. RJ, you're muted, just in case you're wondering. Okay, uh, I'll just take a turn for them right now. Two great sword attacks, a 12 and a 14. 14 hits for 14 for 7. We're not. Alrighty, let's go here. Let's attack that fella. Two times. 12 will miss, but 21 will hit. Or 5. <clears throat> Did anything else your turn? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh. Revel. Oh, wow. Into the grease. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, you have to. Tell me what exactly we're fighting. Wraiths, Wraiths that look like Knights of Salamnia. Wraiths that look like... Is there just this one right here left? Just that one left. Okay, I can uh, I can do that. Target him and... Uh, right out over... Bryn's shoulder. Goes I'm up. back. Um, just, is there any chance that we've been on the same round this whole time? Or uh, I, I took your 
I took your turn for you. You done two great sword attacks and hit with one, missed with the other. Okay. Thank However, you. there is know. one that's dead, so you are now you are now just bullying this one wraith. Good. Good. As it should be. Let's all <laughs> circle around and kick the wraith till it cries and says, "Just leave it alone. I'll give it what you want." <laughs> <laughs> give you what, it, what, it, what you want. Go back to your rest, you mean? <laughs> can you, can you fire off a firebolt for me? Go back to bed. <laughs> want me to hit you off a firebolt? Yeah. Boosh. 13 for 11 will hit for 5. Did I announce your turn? That's all. Q, Q. Ek, so, dus. Oh, he said it'll be RB. Fuck's sake. Burb. I've almost played every person in this combat. Oh, look, it's the one time we're not going, when nobody's able to show up or everybody leaves early. Scott <laughs> just plays everybody. Oh, I, I'm no. back. Did it, did it work? Did um, the Exodus play work? No, Exodus got an 8 for 6 on his oh, attack. Damn. And, Oof. Alright. In and out, you know, the hokey cokey. Yeah, thank you. Race will. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Baralis. Yeah, places his swing with its hand to grasp you by the neck. Can I have a con save, please? I'm gonna die. Uh... Tap into the healing spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Am I alive? 13. Uh, you take 18 necrotic damage. And your hit point maximum is reduced. And it comes up saying roll a concentration check for Morales. Yep. Uh, DC 10. So you just roll another con save. Uh, you said something about a healing spirit there, Melano. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm panicking. <laughs> you doing anything else? No, it's me. I am the Wraith. Am I doing anything <laughs> else? No, I'm not, yeah, Matthew. I'm not doing anything else. Melano. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll... Move a little bit backwards and re repeat, rinse and repeat. Fails. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> sure, he's gonna put it back and you watch it starts to weather. Did anything else your turn? Um, no, I can't do anything else. I don't have any bonus extras unless I use the uh, meta magic again, but I want to keep it for now, yeah. so that's me. But Alice. Are you gonna take must, us home, boy? You must die. Or if it, if it doesn't die, I die. So. Country roads. A fourteen for five will hit. Two in place. I've lost. Wait, Virginia. Five, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Take me home. Die. Oh. Country roads. Dead. Kill it. Make it dead. You got anything else for your turn there, mate? Um, <clears throat> I don't know, you know, um, I learned a lot about viruses and medicine today, and this uh, one needs to be inactive in order for us to, I'm not going to get into that, I'm not going to finish that, because that's, that's a bit too specified of a joke. Uh, I'll just leave it there. I keep thinking about walking away, but... Bryn. I'll get tight. Bryn? Oh, I'm, I'm not... You're not yeah, there. That's right. you know what? While well, I'm, 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 I'm doing the, I'm, I'm doing like I'm fucking, like I'm fucking uh, playing jacks. I'm dropping the great sword, picking up the battle axe. Um, how, how, any chance I can figure out how, uh, how damaged this thing looks since it's um, just armor and it bones? It was, it was quite thick and foggy, I suppose is the word to look at. But now, now you can very clearly see Boralus in front of you. And Melano is lightly obscured through the creature, so you can ascertain there ain't much left of it. All right, two hits. All right, two hits. First hit. I want to. I want to go try, try to hit with the bad luck's two hands. You want me to roll that for you, or? Yes, please. I'm out of the computer. Sorry. Okay. An eighteen, and it's one d ten plus three because you're two-handed. So one d ten. Plus three. Ah, it's 
arguably better damage for 12 for 6. And I want to hit it again. 14. So that's a hit. 22 damage. Fucking nice. Nice. 22? Oh, total, total, you mean. Total, total yeah. As you kind of bring it in and down, you watch as it seems to and wisp away. It nine health. <laughs> uh, in terms of uh, what Exodus, when you went, you know, but the weapons magical. Silver weapons. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You know how unfeasible it is to carry around like silvered weapons. Yes, but silver weapon, pure silver. A full weapon, made of that shit, expensive, hard to upkeep. Silver or silver? You, honestly. <clears throat> Wraiths are immune to magical weapons? Yeah. Um, states um, here, resistance, acid, cold, thunder, lightning, go, uh, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from attacks yeah, that yeah. are not yeah. silvered. It was good. I'm gonna go chill out on my brains. Yeah. Huh. Thanks. That's new. It's usually from slashing your non-magical weapons that aren't silvered, but oh, oh it's, I, it's I a know. weird writing. What, yeah. What's the precise wording on it again? Precise wording, uh, from attacks that are not silvered. So it's, resi it's got res resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from attacks that are not silvered. So, so even it's resistance to everything except silvered. Weapon. I swear that also includes like magical attacks, but I yeah. will for for it because I, as Telgwin can attest, uh, I say that as uh, yeah. Melano can attest, I've been fucked over <laughs> previously by a foundry. So let me get ye old monster manual, and I'll check it for you just now to be safe. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it don't matter now. Don't okay. matter, maybe. if you come I'm up against them in the future, you. it definitely matters. So I've I've never horribly I literally missed. handed them to you like minutes ago. Those were a gift from AJ. So, so I've I've never horribly mismanaged my spells. Don't, this don't worry about it. Just look at them when you have some time. So is, is there a reason I have no spell slots? Has health? No, uh, no rest. And virtual caster. And the fight last session. No, I didn't use all my spells last session. Like I have no first, second, or first level spell slots. Let me take a look at the spell slots for you real quick. Let me pop the hood. I, I understand about half health, but like no spell slots. That's not like me. So was Scottish playing for you at any time? No. And, and no, you weren't. I never played for you at all last one session. Spell for you. Oh wow! And th yeah, this session I only used cantrips because there were no spell slots. I mean, yeah, I, I know, I know, I know how you go. I, I know what you do. The wind. Uh, as I know, I know for sake you did use before any long rest. You have used dragon's breath, Tasha's hideous mage armor, Jim's magic. And chromatic orb. Um, Can't uh, we couldn't use chromatic orb? Remember? Oh yeah. I had to re re. You I think you used magic missile. Use materials. Yeah, it's uh, like fifty gold diamond or something. Use magic missile. It's okay, Revel. I'll give you my one remaining spell slot. It's at first level, so use it wisely. No, it's fine. I'm just uh, you know. Is because the, the chat log deleted. I've done it for all my games, so like I can't even go back. I'd say the only thing that would work is running through, uh, running through the notes. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not okay. great. I'm not great. Session ban. Jim's magic missile once. Uh, then there's Jim's magic missile. Tasha's hideous laughter. Misty step. Um, Dragon's Breath, Mirror Image, Set. Tasha's Hideous Laughter, Seven, James Magic Missile. Eight. So in essence, nine you... spell. Four, 
Aye, so yeah, that's nine spell slots you've got as well, mate. And there's been no rest between. Okay. I think it's because um, it's, it's been like three or four straight sessions back to back to back to back, but that's technically been the days. Oh, fuck. So, yeah. Don't worry, these things happen. I'm just gonna recover some spell slot. I'm working on it also. Back a second level. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do arcane recovery and recover two first level spell slots. Okay. That's wizard. Can... Is that a short short rest thing? No, that's a. It just looks like a feature that I can do. Anytime I want. Can you li can you link it to chat? I think it's only once during day, the short rest that you can recover. Once, once per day, when you finish a short rest, you can ex you can choose to expend spell slots to recover. The spell slots are con that's that reads so fucking dumb. It just says it it just says it recharges after a short rest. It doesn't say I have to take a short rest to use it. The Baralus get those points back. Oh uh, yeah, I put the ten healing Once on Baralus. Once per day, when you finish a short Baralus rest, had, you can choose Baralus had after a short points. rest. Yep, sorry. Uh, Baralus has had the sixteen, and then you're recovering. Uh, you've done ten for yourself. Yep. I that, don't, that means mm -hmm. I have to take a short rest, though. No. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think that just means it recharges after a short points. rest. Ooh. Once per day, when you finish okay. a short rest, you can choose to expend as well self to recover. That means you have to take mm. the short rest, and when you're done with the short rest, you are now having those extended spell slots recovered. Is it, doesn't uh, doesn't rage say the same thing? Whenever you finish a long rest, you can regain your charges of rage. I don't know if what you, rage says. You know? I don't. I haven't used rage since I first played a barbarian as a fledgling D and D player. In fact, uh, I've okay. never played barbarian. <laughs> I played once, and that's I was badly how... educated. That's how we'll all works again and proceed. We all ready to go? I mean, sure. <laughs> um, you guys were discussing. So rage actually says once you've raged a number of times shown in your barbarian level in the rages column of the barbarian table, you must finish a long rest before you can rage again. <laughs> That's this a really said... fucking long-winded way of putting it, ain't it? <laughs> Mm -hmm. So let me get the arcane recovery back, I guess. All this yep. means is that you can take multiple short arcane recovery just means you can take multiple short rests in one day, but only once of those short rests can you recover the spell slot. No, it's not like that. It's a it's a special thing and no, it's no, a, no, it. what RJ is saying is like you could take three long rest three short rests and on one of those short rests decide to get a few spell slots back. Yeah. Only, only on one. So I thought because it had a charge, I can just go ahead and pop it off, and I get it back at a short rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know. The charge is just once per day. Uh, Sixteen. It's like channel divinity, where you, like harness divine power, but you can only use it once per once per day, basically. Yeah, and, I have. And I've already used it. Rest. And. Oh, wait, you weren't talking about me. Cure wind but yeah. was a 10 for Renard. An example. And I'm, I'm assuming, uh, just real quick, I'm assuming there that that channel divinity that you used was to get back the spell slot to use the cure winds. Yes, Correct. it was. Q. Then. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Never mind. We did the same thing. I just did that last session. As you stand... um, Anybody need some lay on hands? Nope. Uh, well, I'm down to ooh, wow, my temp's down to thirty. Oh, oh, I'm only three. Oh, I'm three. I'm good. Oh, oh, yeah. Stand in this. Anybody mind if I touch myself real quick? Oh, baby. Oh, and so you go. I say these are in this area after having fought these 
race. You see once more the flames burning up. As it does, the knight from the previous vision is cast out of a group of other knights. The scene fades to a wedding between the knight and an elven woman, <laughs> the same woman from the previous vision. Is the knight mm. that soft guy? Yeah. I want to see if I can add. If Exodus has told you. How do I, yeah. how do, I do this? Do I do this 10 times? Uh, no. Exodus. Uh, so, so you're oh. gonna you you're gonna burn ten lay on hands in yourself. So, what we do is we'll just change your you'll change your fifteen to twenty five, and then okay. you just add ten health to yourself, or I'll pop ten health right. on you. Like so. Okay, so fifteen. There you go. Great. Thank you. And sorry, I interrupted. Um. So, uh, Exus would have explained what he what he knew that this was the story of Lord Soth Law Cloth Soth Soth Lord Soth Soth and uh, Lord Soth <laughs> <laughs> I, I would also like to ask uh, did, did I get the feeling that these flame things were a part of the crypt themselves or is that simply because he is here? And like with what he's doing, like is this more like a supernatural phenomenon that's occurring because he's trying to acquire some powerful relic, or is it like? Um, I'm going check. I, I, get, right. I get where you're going with that. So, Van Arcana. Yeah, I don't know. If this was the gods warring against me. Arcana check. Um, these. Flames are very much a magical fire, but you can tell by looking at how they interact with the catacomb here. Um, they are not of the catacomb. These have been set somehow. Like an ever-living flame? Yeah, like a continuous flame that's actually doing bad things. Hmm. Exus would explain uh, all this thing would say we need to go um, Renard let's put our heads together do we know what type of relic could be here that he's after while we run just so we know what we're going to face give me a history yeah, I'm going to guide you I, I'll give the, the help action if your history's higher and this is your people, so. Uh, you can take up advantage, he's giving you the help action, and you get a d4. Yeah. Let's see the high, high roll, high roll. You can do it. We believe in you. <laughs> the the advantage, click, click the roll things. 13, make it a plus, come on. Come on, 18, 18, let's go 18, come on. No! 14. That's. Yeah, it's an, oh, it could be anything down here. It's a long forgotten tomb. It's unsure, truly, what Lord Soth could truly want. Is he under the guidance of Tachesis? Is he working of his own accord? It's hard to tell. But given he's made his own fucking shortcut to where he's going. Whatever it is, he's clearly desperate for. Alright, and this this was the shortcut? This, this was the shortcut. Oh yeah, uh, this was the walking down it. Prepared. Yep. The rough uh, hewn sides here as he's squeezed through. Things definitely have been. Who's just left? That's oh, someone's just joined up. Oh. Someone's going to have some medicine stuff. Oh, don't worry, man. I don't understand what's going on. What the hell? Alright, let's go. Pick up my torch and move. Jalen, you got um, Uh, kept on giving me the movement is set to combat. Uh, oh, let me try and fix that for you. No movement. Freedom of movement. Try now. Okay. Alright, sweet. Okay, yep, wow. going. Hold on. Right. So everyone come to back here just now because it looks like Jalen's maybe having a little issue. Um... 
try try a quick refresh, mate. See what happens. Um, I'm gonna move everyone in like combat movement or something real quick. Mate. Let's see, uh, there's no, there isn't even a combat to move you to. Hey, it's just the refresh thing. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna refresh. Well, all we'll see for that right now is you just come to this particular area. This map is like the fun one. <clears throat> He's got this weird and powerful fuel. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Mosaic of knights, raiding armor, and stallions cover this wall. And the rims are lined with violet flames, which I do keep forgetting to put on. Uh, excuse me, I was, you know, very... <laughs> Very clearly not this it's the smart one. I'll just throw some I'll throw some fucking random lights all around the place and just assume that it's fire, you know. It's on me. Um da -da 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 -da. To the east lies shattered stone and to the north of it gapes a tunnel that leads back to the catacomb entrance, which you just came from. The west end of the room stands a statue of a rearing horse. As you look, you see in here, walking by, a powerful flash. The fire burns once more. The knight receives a vision from a beam of divine light. His wife pleads. He dons his armor, mounts a steed, and rides off. As it were. Well, now, hopefully, hopefully, Jalen can move, and I will move this little wall that I placed there. As you see to the east, wrecked barracks, and to the west, the aforementioned horsey statue. Let us follow the destruction. Let us follow the destruction. Let us follow the destruction. Alonzi? Uh, you getting in there at all there, my friend, though? Uh, or... Just logging in now. We'll see for all of those who are still standing in there, Bren Boralis, who watches on the other end. Mists and wind seems to start picking up and thriving and rolling. You hear the crunching and bangs. And you watch as two sp almost spiritual looking horses seem to appear at the end of the corridor to the west. For you guys looking down here, you do see another rough hewn carved channel. I'm just hoping that Jay can move beforehand. I'm uh, here, here now. Uh, I don't know where they went though. Oh, they're, they're just down here, my friend. Move either, there, you, please. How do you zoom out on the map? Can I just like move to the wall? Mouse scroll down. No, I thank can't. You, thank you. I don't most of me. Um, page up and page down, or the plus and negative keys on a numpad. Um, which may be locked. If you've got like a numpad but you don't have that, if you've got a numpad fucking in your thing, you may have to use like the function keys. Um, same with the page up and down. Are you like on a, are you using a laptop or something? Yeah, but I don't have my... my if you're using a laptop with a trackpad on the very like right hand side of the trackpad, sometimes you move your finger up and down, that's your... Do you not see my icon moving? Are you maybe holding control whilst you do that? No. Shift. 
Okay. <laughs> Just in circles. I'll keep, I'll keep. I always wondered why you were doing circles. Yeah, because I keep um, trying to like do you have, out. Do you have a bit that says page up or page down on your keyboard? Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That works. Okay. Good. Yay. I was fed to doing fucking 360s. <laughs> <laughs> fucking doing donuts. Because I was like, does anybody <laughs> else see this? Meanwhile, my icon's just going, wee. <laughs> no, <laughs> done. Yeah, you see these rough, crushed, hewn stone ripped away. For everyone else you're watching as two horses seem to be forming. What do we do? Well, I'll say, and I think this is the only one where I've done it. Yeah, it's the only one where I've done it through the little hole. You can see a little bit of light. Uh, so we say the steeds were <clears throat> materializing. Two spiritual steeds slowly materializing over here where I'm picking. Uh, Are they friendly? You, you know what? Fuck it doesn't hurt to... I do not know how loose this magic is. I like to disguise self. Alright, as? Uh, so I've seen this man multiple times now with the flame. Um, and I, I have an idea of his skin color. Um, but the Lord, Lord Sooth. Lord uh, Seath? Soth. Lord Soth. 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 I like to disguise myself as Lord Soth. Um, using what I do know from books about his appearance and what I have seen with the magic and attempts to uh, trick the spirits to dissuade them. Okay. Then, I'll see as you are doing that. It's going to be a little moment. That's her Is definitely not the bestest of image for it, but should get the job done. There you go. You and to look like Lord Lorenz. He would let the party know he's doing this. Because, Guys, I have an idea. And then he would, his body, you know, illusion magic would morph and then he would go to step in front of the group to see if he could meet the the horses uh before I'll they give you guidance if you need to do like a rule deception or something very yeah. pog i will and say as you oh. watch these horses seem to crack down a little and look bernard you know that these just looking around gasping a bit of it these two horses may be very much revered here. It takes you just a little moment. But these are the remains of two very heroic war horses known as Zerheve and Shadowwind. And as oh. you watch as they rush towards yourselves, I'm going to give both of you an animal handling check first and foremost. Oh, me? Uh, Exodus? Yep. Animal handling? Oh, I have a plus zero, so you... 15 you can also get You also get a d4 to oh. roll. 17. It was, um... Uh, 14. It was only Exodus that got the cadence, but, um... You missed sec. I need to get a oh. Dungeon Master's Gate. Taming spirit horses, a chapter on how to god how to tame ghosts of horses. This is like a wedding procession or of sorts or something. Spirit taming for dummies. Two twenty seven, two twenty eight. <laughs> oh no, you.
Renard, you're probably going to want to kick Exodus's ass in a minute. Mm. Oh. You got yourself a supernatural gift. You got yourself... Favour of the Heroic Steed. <laughs> I just need to fucking find it here. The charm, what fucking charm though? Um, <laughs> this is unreal because it, it says, oh, you get this, and then it doesn't tell you what this is. So you're Two heroic steeds you find worthy. Ah, uh, two heroic steeds that find you worthy, and agree to serve you. This charm has oh. two charges. As an action, you can expend one charge to summon a warhorse, wearing full plate armor. The warhorse serves you for twenty-four hours, then vanishes. She watches the warhorses seem to bow with reverence before. Just out of curiosity, John, how angry are you? <laughs> oh, not at all. <laughs> not at all. You don't like horses? I love horses. They were just stolen from me from Simon Guide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, sorry, what is this called? <laughs> what do I look this up at? Favor of the Heroic Steed. Favored of the heroic steed. I'm adding it to your thing. It's a technical charm, I'll say, as you watch this. The little charm seems to materialize just in front of you. Huh. Would you look at that? Well, let's move on, people. <laughs> he, has, he, has, he has no idea what just happened. It's, the, it's not clicking with him. The horses just like approached him, and he like did the like the, the like hand, you know, some animal handling. His hand was out, and the animal was there, animal handling. And then and, it wasn't. And now it wasn't. And he has the the charm. Is it a physical charm, or is it? Yeah, I'm making like a. I'm just getting everything there. I will see right now. And this this is the worst part. Um, if he hadn't done disguise self, only John could have done this. It's a. Anyone wearing Knight of Salamnia armor? <laughs> uh, he goes and is like, yeah, I'm Lord Soth now, fuck you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to speak at this little for it, I'm not going to keep it. <laughs> Unless it's bound to me. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out when it's... I'll, I'll, need to read, I'll need to read that whole section of the Dungeon Master's Guide now. I hope you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> DMG page 227, I believe it was. But yeah. Well, that was hot sauce. That was the dumbest move I could have done. It's use. Stand the horses vanish and you get this small charm. So the tension seems to just vanish. What do you wish to be doing? Oh, this I guess we'll turn around and follow the path of destruction. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Scottish, can you just have me follow for now? Yeah, of course, bro. Thank you. Let's move Rebel <laughs> in real quick. As you start coming through, Renard, you see him standing at the end of here. As you watch, he throws his hand forward and the wall just <laughs> bursts clean open as it does you stand here and you watch as the fires seem to burn once more as the night who in the fuck is playing with doors not me <laughs> the night 
seems to encounter the attendants of the elven women from the first vision as they taunt him and point back the way he came. He watches the fire seems to flash and the night seems to be cleaving through all of them in numerous quick successions. As the fire tapers off and comes back once more, he watches the knight slays his wife after the world around him rumbles and burns. The knight burns as well. He doesn't fall. His eyes blaze with flames. His body and armor refuse to be one. He becomes a terrifying, deathless figure. You know this figure as Lord Lauren Soth. Knight of the Rose, charged by the gods to end the cataclysm and failed, bringing about the end of days. As you stand in this room now, violet flames outline the tomb set into the walls of this spacious crypt. A heavy stone brazier sits empty near the centre of the room. The sarcophagus in the north lies in pieces as the mouth of the crumbling tunnel to the wall is broken open. Far end of the tomb, a flaming dais holds a sarcophagus sculpted with the image of a knight. A life-size sculpture of a dead dragon impaled with a spear curls around the sarcophagus. Something within the sarcophagus seems to be slamming at the lid as unnatural flames from the dais blaze wild with intensity. The flames waver forming the ominous images of terrifying knights. In the night of the last vision, you watch as though he stands there. The fire shows him approaching the brazier at the room centre, above which royals a flaming orb. The knight holds up a scepter sculpted with screaming faces. Once touched to the ball of the flame, the scepter ignites and the orb vanishes. The knight admires the flaming scepter, then points to the ornate tomb and statue at the end of the room. Both burst into flames spreading throughout the crypt. You watch as the fire takes the place where Lord Soth stands. You watch as he looks at yourselves. Starts to just walk out of the large hole that he has created. Scottish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, messages. Ah. No. These are all in here. Just watch. The shattered I wall. Cast that. Yeah. I cast the protection from evil and good on Renard before he moved inside. Yep. Yeah. As you look here, this place, underneath the castle the entire time, you never would have known. This tomb is large. You can tell it lies beneath the cliff. Of Calaman. You feel this violent shake, almost like an earthquake. You just look around. Whatever Lord Sauce been looking for, it seems that he may have gotten it looking at the vision. Oh, we didn't just see it in the past? What was that, sorry? 
we didn't just see him, it was a vision. You sh saw him and you saw the vision of what he done about a minute before you showed up. Uh, we were too late. We were too late. As it were, you keep hearing the battering bangs from the east. Under the carved dais, massive statue of a dragon. Is a... Uh, do you think a real dragon is trying to break through out here? Um, I believe it would be more so the spear that slew the dragon. Hmm. Can I make a religion check to see if there's any relics tied to Lord Soth? That you be trying to reclaim here, like if the tail of a dragon or this tail specifically. I'm gonna say go ahead. However, it's at this point here where I may say something, and John may say, "Well, actually," but we'll see. <laughs> I ever heard of a dragon lance? Vaguely, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the <laughs> weapons made. Yes, and there's a dragon lance. I got you. The thing that may also be impaling the dragon. Yeah. Um, so, in there is a dragon lance potentially holding a dragon hostage. Uh, clearly a sculpture, or is it a. This is very much clearly a sculpture, yes. It's a very high decoration for someone who is very clearly regarded highly so what you're saying is it's very uh detailed oh yeah mm -hmm. uh, please don't did tell you me say the that this sarcophagus there's noise it's some like it something sounds coming? like something's trying to break out from it do you break We'll see. You're close enough now that you can see there is a small little plaque that says Zanas Sarlamir, Knight of the Crown. Well, looks like he's up. Uh, Rebel says. Looks towards uh, Renard. What do we plan on doing? You would also look toward Renard and say, You're thinking what I'm thinking, Renard? Thinking we're. I was thinking on trying to check out that dragon lance that appears in that statue, but uh, I don't want to get any closer to that sarcophagus. I don't, I don't have a very is good feeling about really it. Just a, is it really just a statue? Statue? Yeah. This is a statue with a spear through it. Uh, you know, historically. Is... Can I feel anything from magical from the statue? No. By by all accounts, you are looking at the very well-crafted statue. I'll try to get the name here for you. Um, there we go. Or not taking purpose. Thank you. Let's see. Mm. Um, no. Slowly approach the sarcophagus. Oh no, no. I don't like the, no. the hand gesture you just did. Now I'm going to get away from the sarcophagus. Oh, That's come it. on. Don't be able to claim your <laughs> destiny. Um, <laughs> you, you walk up. You see, you walk up. You claim your fucking destiny, Renard. Grab yep. the dragon lance. As you watch, as you approach, you can see the sarcophagus cracking. It's as yep. you can, if you wish, make a strength check. Why not? Let's see what's going on. 
<laughs> did you, Didn't eat my Wheaties this morning. You push on it, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. And very heavy and very old, but then as it does, you watch as the hand comes out and grabs yourself, pulling up with some extreme undead strength. Is this. Can I try to. Go ahead, I'm sorry. There you go, there you go. I wanted to see if, if, uh, if I could chop that hand off real quick. Like run in and do that. Would that be a thing I could do? I'll give Get you the an right attempt. Hand. Huh? I'll give you an attempt. Get the... Okay. Get the correct hand. It is not mine. <laughs> Get the undead okay. one. <laughs> the undead hand. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. You know, this thing is gonna... It's already coming out. You know, use in not smiting if I hit. Um... Where the fuck is that already? Okay, here we go. Two handed. <laughs> Renard's grandfather in here. <laughs> there, you're gonna ring it down to hit. You watch as the hand seems to let go. As it does, you watch as the roof of this, I was gonna say roof, the lid of the sarcophagus seems to burst straight open. As it does, standing in this greenish armor, the skeleton of burning purple flame stands with a long sword. <clears throat> I need y'all to roll initiative. Well, I was right, we were gonna have to fight it anyway. He's, he's gonna say, that's not a lance. <laughs> what? That's uh, oh, yeah, you can change back the Exodus thing. You would, uh, you, but seeing that you would, uh, you, you would change that, that You can do it yourself, Yo, man. Move. Oh, that's very right cool. Click, very, right very click good. your yes. token. Yes. So if you right click your token down at the very bottom, you're going to see a little swirly thing. You can click it to uh -huh. cycle. Um, I put a, that in there to show. Or you can hold click it to pick specifically. So if you're wanting you're like, oh, I want to look like a guard, I can just quickly throw that in. Oh, I am. I am. I'm never rolling initiative again without fucking quoting the beginning of the Yu-Gi-Oh opening. Never again. <laughs> Because that was some good fucking luck. So, as it were, the creature stands there, burning sword, Bryn, burst <coughs> up. Yeah. Know what time it is? Time to, time to fucking oh. two-handed. Two time, 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 Alright. And I want to uh I wanna smite. I uh let me what the fuck is it? What's a long here we go. It's an undead, so you do get another eight. Another D eight. Oh let me roll that real quick. That's a D eight here. Damn mm. beautiful. Nice. You're gonna bring it in and you're gonna watch as it comes through and it looks. God, Soth, the man, Sanamir slay those who depose Soth. You watch as every one of its movements seem damn near almost pained. Give me an insect check if you want. Uh Very oh, much Sprint. Just Sprint. But very much not okay. a welling creature here. Is there anything oh, else no. with your oh. Um I want to uh Okay, yeah, that doesn't seem willing. It let go. It's coming out. Um that thing is probably an initiative because of me. So that's 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 my bad. I attacked it. I kinda wanna like put a hand out. Like, like like an arm out to like hold hold on to the rest of the party, and I want to um, you know I want to kind of own up to this, and I want to kind of direct attention to me as I ask it, uh, why have you awakened? And if that's a dumb question, let me know. But I did not know this thing was his grandfather. I did not know his last name. Yeah. And that's gonna I'm gonna end my turn after that question of for the uh for the undead creature. 
What exactly is Sar the question? Sarlamir. Uh, the question was, um, I wanted to kind of like, you know, put myself, I, phys I wanted to physically just kind of uh, stop anybody else from coming forward. And I wanted to ask him, uh, I wanted to apologize and ask him why he, you know, jumped up and wakened and grabbed uh, Renard. He does. I'll move it over to Exodus, but you hear. Lord Soth compels thee. Exodus. Oh, what Soth? Lord Soth. Compels me. Oh, I thought you said compels thee. I did say okay, compels that, thee. Okay, that changes. Oh. Okay. But thee as in me. Okay, that makes sense now. Um, okay. So everybody heard that. Yeah, we so I know this guy is going to attack us. Yeah, well, right. whether he wants to or not, he's gonna. Uh, he... I can't move. move. Yep. Is... Don't worry, I got you. Hold on. Um, It's just the walling of the tail. Um, Yeah, I'd say you could jump that. There you go. Perfect. Right there. And then he would, you know, he, he'd make his attack at disadvantage because you know what they say, either make your attack at disadvantage or take 1d10 damage. So, uh, yep. Let's All let's right. see it. Boom blade, of course. What else? Twenty-one four nine will heat. All right. That uh, is wonderful. Sneak attack four damage, and then the booming Sucking. blade. Be, um, the booming blade Sucking. will be. Yep. But if he moves though, at uh, all right, and then I will. Bonus action dash 15, 20. Let's go back here because this guy is looking scary. Uh, 40. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you know what? This is good. This is good. That's my turn. All right. Melano. Um, I'll try it. Probably won't hit, but I'll try a guiding bolt. Oh, it hits. Okay. Okay. Do what's fucking. Dun -dun -dun -dun. You hit that for a fifteen radiant. You're gonna. Boom. And move over there. Cute. And the next person has advantage on it. Baralis. Yo. Three attacks. One of which is with advantage. So uh, that misses, but if you hover over it and hit the plus to get the advantage, you may just hit it. 22 for 8 will hit. Then favor 4. Final use. Roll a D file. Be nice. Three, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, and then two. Miss. Miss. Good start. Better announce your turn. Nah, that's it. Kill. Cool. As you watch this, Salomar once more. Pulls his sword. He does. Soth beckons Salamir to follow him to the north. To the city of lost names. As he does, brings the sword down. Looking at yourself, Renard. You take. You take unconscious. Damn. The first uh, one. I, I didn't see the screen when that happened. What the, what the fuck? Kill. Okay. Uh, you then now no longer fall unconscious. He has. He also has his advantage on attacks Is against like... or not. Because oh. I put protection from evil and good on him. Seventeen then misses. Wait, 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 wait. Fifteen what then did misses. What he do, Renard? Because if I'm it's damage, to listen to it. I can't. What? And Sorry. dun 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 dun, the 
yield meets it beats it so the last one which was a crit is now just 11 damage what was the roll because i just added five to my ac uh the roll was initially a 28 disadvantage turns it to a 24 your ac is 19 plus 5 to make it 24. okay awesome it's so is, yeah, is, is instead of taking 10, 20, 30, 46 damage, you take 11. Oh, so he's not dead. Okay. Okay. I was, about to, I was about to put some hands on him and pray. Revels, you stand and watch this. You don't feel too good. So you watch as you can. You can watch as Revel kind of up the hand firebolt to where Revel. That's for Mello now. Firebolt fires off. Hit smell and all. Protection of good and evil is that concentration. Yeah. Good. Bernard. Nat, it was a nat one again. What oh, was a nat or one? Was it... Oh, sorry, uh, Revel, you didn't anything else with your turn. That's all. Yeah. Revel just attacked Melano? Wait, why? Oh, never mind. Don't ask why. Just, I don't know what the fuck to do. He's all do. I would say he's all kind of watch this as Melano. The bolt, a wash over Melano. Do I hear this? Very much so. Uh, vocal and somatic components. All right. I want to turn and, well, yeah, I, I can only really turn my head. I want to turn this and see what the fuck happened. I want to look at Revel, look at Melano. I gotta fight right. for my life here, so... I, I don't think, think I can he's move, on, but... on our side. Yeah. 22 oh. will hit for 11... 15. Um, and let's do that. Yep, plus an additional D8. 18. Did I announce your turn? Um, nope. That's it. I don't know what's going on behind me, so... <laughs> Bren. Alright, I'm back at the computer just in time. Okay, so... Mr. Uh... Mr. This is my song, or anyway. Um... He... Is, uh... I'm going to ask him, how do we stop him, and then give him a... Am I able to pick up my shield and give him a one-handed hit? You would just essentially be changing from one-handed to two-handed, so yeah, with ease. Alright, pick up my shield, give him a one-handed hit. Hold on, what the fuck is the... Oh, there it is. I've already added two shots, so you 13 will miss. Alright. And I also want to turn to Revel and say, what the fuck, man? Over here, like, there's this direction. Wait, where the fuck did Melano go? I'm over here in the corner. Oh, I can't see you because of the shadow. I was about to fucking say. And he's standing next to the guy over here. Oh, I see him. Yeah, that that's a completely different direction. Um, I want to, I want to step back. And... Hmm... Wait, oh, Renard, Renard's bleeding. I need to know. Never mind. Can, 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 can I can I retcon that? I'm, I'm not. I don't want to move. I want to stay right here. Oh yeah. Uh, you want to stay, can you? Just... But I am. I am confused. Uh, given I'm between uh, Ravel and Melano, uh, do I can tell what exactly spell was casted? I kind of like didn't zone out for a minute, but I kind of yeah. forgot. Do I firebolt? You just tried to firebolt her. You'll shout out to Revel, say something, or I will strike you down. <sighs> Princess, my apologies, my apologies. My apologies. That was a that was a misfire. Sometimes spells don't go as planned. In the wrong I, direction. I make an, <laughs> I'm gonna make an inside check if I can. Would that be an action? Free. Free action. Can I make one as well? 
because I'm not really focusing on anything right now. 21. 21 Q. Yeah, if you, if you want to believe that, you can, but, you know. If you want to believe it, you can. Um, it seems odd. Rebel's voice seems to be a lot more... Jovial, shall we say. Rebel's voice? Yes. Hmm. How long have we known him? <laughs> uh, just, just so I Not see it, right? Not that long. Just so okay, I, I wasn't okay. like zoning out or something, I completely missed that he deliberately turned to her and cast it. It wasn't like it bounced off like the dragon and like on the ceiling and then back to her. He like specifically turned to her, looked at her and casted Firebolt. Very much. Okay, yeah, I'm going to attack the fuck yeah, out of her. I was about to say, I don't I'll, I'm something smells fishy. Something mm -hmm. smelling fishy. I ain't taking no chances. Um... Would it be a free action to switch back to Razor? Yeah, so that's the, you'd be dropping the other one, but you'd, as part of the attack action, you're able to pull the dagger out. Can I share a look with, uh, with Exodus? <laughs> what luck? Yeah, I'll I'm, just go I'm, I'm, Like, I want to see if I can convey, like, okay, first of all, I want to make sure my confusion and my split detention is apparent, and I want to um, look at you, see you approaching, and then turn my full attention back to the undead creature. All right, you you'd nod, you give like a like a like a like a gesture, head nod to the creature, and he would go to focus on unravel. He would be dropping the rapier near uh, Boralus, and. You'll make his mate. You'll make his attack. Um, can't booming blade slash so his flat razor. Um, <laughs> he's not undead, is he? No. No. <laughs> right, sweet. It's <laughs> Just not hit. No, it's not hit. Um. Yeah, I only get the one. So well, just gonna jump out of the way of the blade. You'd attack your own friend. Asshole. There's something wrong about you. There's something very wrong about you. I'll bonus action dash and get uh, sort of between him and or her. Or I, I don't know what that they are. <laughs> Thirty-five. I'll yeah. I'll get between. Uh, Melano and Revel and that my turn. Mm. Okay. Did he say bonus action dash? Yep. Okay. Uh, he gets a firebolt to no, the face. He does not. Oh, does not. A wasted crit. Oh, it hurts. Uh, yeah. Well, welcome to the pain of my world. Um, what? Uh, why does he not? Swashbuckler. Swashbuckler. Doesn't what does that mean? Doesn't invoke opportunity of attack. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Welcome to my world. Population two. Alpha Spozo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. You have to excuse me, Scottish. Math was not one of my classes today. I was a bit slow when you said two. Uh, because I've only just got used to the fact that uh, Exodus does not take opportunity of attack. And I was so waiting for Revel to make that mistake. Ability. A Revel stuck. has on you, dexterity save. I'm not at my full analytical potential. I have like five different yeah. tabs open on my computer. Yeah. Yeah. on my phone and I'm looking at all of them. That's right. Did I announce your turn? None of them have to um, do That's all I can do. Okay. Boralus, you kind of watch, there's this weird infighting going on all of a sudden. You got the two paladins fucking up the skeleton. You got your friend who's just launched a fireball at another one. The fucking rogue's getting in on it. You're standing in the middle of it all, what are you doing? Hmm. Oh, who's that? 
Paralysis? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. <laughs> She's gonna fire off that one. You're watching gonna pins in. Eight for ten will miss. Then I know she's Yeah. Gonna... Oh, wait. Do I got any spells left, too? Uh. Apparently, you still have all of your first level spells left. To me, this is news. Oh, yeah, I've not used any of them. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, sure. Uh, I was going to use Cure Wounds, but I'm... Can I do that? Uh, cure Wounds is an action. An if you had Healing Word, you could. Yeah. I can't do Healing Word. That's fine. Okay, that's it. Get. And it does. So once more, Salamur will lick the arm bending and twisting. The northern wastes. The city of lost names. The place of Soth's dishonor. He beckons me. And he does Salamnia to Salamnia. You know, brings down first, misses, and brings in the second as a clean hit for 23. You know, <laughs> down. Disadvantage? 19 for 17. So uh, add this back on. Down. Wait, no. Nope. Okay. Nope. You still got more than 70. I've just hit that same button again. Yeah. Because we don't As it does. See, fine. Oh, I keep forgetting about this fucking did didn't dance. So I will hold this one, I think. I'm going to bust a Baralis attack real quick, just with the dagger. Just to see. 19. There we go. So control is the disadvantage. will hit once more at disadvantage. Negated a second nat 20 though. Yeah, brings down the sword once more as you hear the hissing of wastes and Morales. That bit, bit, Renard, you fall as you watch his turns its attention towards Bryn. Revel. Okay, uh, go this way, this way right here. Yep. And I'm going to get Melo again. 22 for 12. Um, yep. I was waiting in case you had anything, can I want... Concept? 14. Good. Revel, did anything else? Nope. Q. Renard, uh... Privately, 1d20, please. So you're going to hear the sounds of battle coming as you are. <gasps> yep. Ren. As you watch as Renard falls, as Revel casts another firebolt off towards Melano. RG, Hello? there is no update yet. Okay, uh... Okay. Renard, um... Can exactly stabilize them when something is trying to kill me. Woo! Um... He's gonna have to get the hands! I'm sorry! I... Bryn says, I'm sorry about this. And... It's gonna swing, swing, swing. A 10 for something. Damn. I ain't gonna insult you with that nat one, but a 10 also misses. Did anything okay. else for done? Okay. Um, that, that's, that's, uh, that's my action. Do I have any bonus actions? Um. Hmm. 
to say that and take this spell slot away. Anything, anything, anything. Mm. Excuse me. Nope. Cute. That's going to have to be. Uh, that's all right. That's going to have to be it. I'm hoping I can. Uh, I'm hoping the battle axe attacks provoked it, and I can lead it away. Eh, with us. He'll say, uh, he'd look back to see how Melano is doing on health. Like, just um, look back. Like a chaff or something. He would say, get get to Reynard, I'll deal with Ravel. And then he would go to interlock in combat. Uh, ten feet. Both hands on the, the razor. Time to... Yeet, 11, not no dice. No dice. Alright, then anything else your turn? And assuming Melano will back off towards that way, he will sort of position himself um, in between uh, Renard and Raffle. And that'll be his turn. Melano. I will move our defeat over here. Target Rebel and cast Chaos Bolt on him. Be right back. Hi. <laughs> this is that one pain in the ass spell that I fucking hate with its numbers. Um, oh, that's okay. 14 misses. Okay. Who the eight spell? <laughs> you're gonna watch it. Just... <laughs> and just go. But what if I do this? Hmm. I can reroll. When you make an no, ability that's a bitch. check. Yeah, sorry. Ignore right. me. We both read it at the same time. Then anything else with your turn at all? I can't do anything else. Okay. Baralis. Alright, uh, I'm gonna check how many hours I've got. Uh six attack again 11 will miss 14 will miss we're getting back to session one roots right here guys Ooh, well, that was great <laughs> great turn have fun so did i announce your turn man mm, no okay you watch as salamir will take a step over Renard, gonna pirouetting as he does take his nice long sword, stab towards Bryn. Uh, stabs towards Bryn before turning towards Baralis for the second, and in his hand, you watch as he lobs forth for third, a throwing axe towards Exodus. Some... Bryn, 21 for 17. X at uh, Baralis. Where's my thing? Baralis, 17 for 17. 26 for 11, Exodus. Ooh. Revel. He once more goes on about the Lord Soth calls to Salamir through the haunted flames of the Cataclysm. I was gonna go up behind Exodus here, and he's gonna say, I didn't forget about you, don't worry. And that's for him. Con save. Exodus. Alright. Time to do a con save. This Chris has right. got a little chilly. And a disadvantage upon your next weapon attack roll. Do not announce your turn level. Revel? He muted himself. Cool. Move it over to Renard. Uh, privately 1d20, please, sir. As you're hearing the sounds of battle and noises going through as you gasp, you hear the clinging, the tanging, and 
very muffled speech. Bren. RG. Bren. RG. I'm back. I just got back. What's going on? Hold on. Let me it's get to the computer. Oh, um, okay. So, uh, okay. Salamir's moved to between you and Boralis. Hit you, Boralis, and see. Exodus. Okay. <clears throat> this guy is, uh, ooh, it hit me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to keep hitting it. That is hilarious. I um, I ain't gonna. Yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. Sorry, <laughs> don't enter now. Your turn, there, my friend. That'll that'll be it. That'll be it. Okay, Exodus. You look to, uh, you look to Ravel. And say, I can't believe you're making me do this. And he would grab um, his. Um, hold on. Inventory. No, no, no. Is it spellbook? Yes. At will. Bam. He's using it. Can I? <gasps> Hasty. Uh, he will use his. Then. Uh, you have advantage on dexterity and an additional action on each of my turn can be used to make that attack, so I will attack you. Um, let's see it. With Razor. No selected design could be... Oh, hold on. I didn't have myself selected, too. That's so stupid. I hate that stupid game. Um, <laughs> 13. With disadvantage, would still miss. Yeah, with disadvantage... <laughs> Missing, we ain't hidden out here, boys. And then um, I also have advantage on deck saving throws and additional. All right. Oh, my speed is doubled as well. <laughs> the, the, room's, the room's only 40 foot, mate, so you know. Yeah, 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 I totally understand, though. 10. I, I 40 feet off. The door. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, and then I'll get because my movement's sixty. I'll get here, and then I'll bonus action hide. All right. Uh, roll a stealth check because technically speaking, two people can see you. <laughs> Shit. All right. Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. Nice. <laughs> now, I'm it's, now we see him. Now we don't. Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> did he just? Yeah, I can't, can't. Did he just really say, "I can't believe you're making me do this," and then ran out of the fucking room? <laughs> what the fuck? Melano. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Rebel. What a time to not have Ken respect. Oh yeah, my we... fucking god! What time to not have counter spell? Um, that makes me down? No, I need a deck save, else you are down. Oh, okay, one sec. Whoa. Now you're down. Okay. Um, he just watches yeah. Revel goes down. He watches from the body comes this rather handsome ghostly figure. As he does, he just slips his hair back once more and looks at you. Oh, mm. too slow. Too, 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 too slow. Miserable flashbacks. 
Remember how I said epic? Mm-hmm. And we laughed and was like, that was epic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on, uh, now I, uh, I want Bryn. He who laughs on last, your... la- laughs slow. You who? On, on your turn as Cardock, you can go for Bryn. I'm amazing. You'll get back. Oh, so, uh, uh, Melanie, you did anything else your turn? No, I can't. Wait, I, I can move. Um, I'll move into the corner here. Oh, I'm also going to say, uh, Jalen, you should have access to the sheet as well. If you just give it a double click, you should be able to open up and see everything that you are immune, resistant, vulnerable, and everything else that you can do too. Thank you. I'll fire over to Boralis. I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just looked at my health. Oh, bang, did. Can I disguise myself as a brick? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna cure wounds. Uh, oh. Revel was yeah. concentrating on hideous laughter. Apparently, who knew? Okay. Seven. You gonna? <gasps> You feel a bit better from that one. Do I? Yeah, you feel a little bit better. <sighs> Felt worse. So I can't attack now, can I? No. Alright, how the fuck do I get out of this one? Oh, yeah, wait. Uh, where is it? I'm a face step. Yep, bonus action if you want to go ahead and send your features. And you are also a winter as well. Oh wait, what did you want me to do? So in your features, you're going to see face step, and if you click that, it'll give you the template to use to teleport. I've never done this before. Sorry, so in features, under active abilities, you'll see face step. Yeah, yeah. Click the image, and it'll roll in chat. And then it will also give you there you go. And you just click anywhere in that um, anywhere in that orange circle. Mine. And can I um I'm sorry, can I get my vision switched to care doc? Nice. I don't know how to do that. That's the issue with this. I'm gonna have to remove the blinded on you a few. But I'll remove the unconscious I'll remove the unconscious. But we just need to no, remember. That... Yeah, Revel's unconscious. Yeah, but you just need to remember that you're unconscious, and that'll give you the view. Uh, so for yourself, it should be wisdom. However, your wisdom is exactly that. Not frightened. Did you kind of to the other end of the room? Did anything else your turn? No. Cool. Oh. Salazar, Salamar, Kara, 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 Dar. Well, move through. In doing so, we'll take his sword, plunge towards Bryn before immediately turning round to Melano and bringing it back in towards Bryn again. Missing on the second one, Bryn, you take 15 damage. Melano, you take 22. Um, how, what did he roll? What do you mean, what did he roll? For that, for hit to hit. He hit you or Bryn, Peace. who? How much, like, to hit? Number. Who? He hit two people. Me. On their 18. How much? 18. Yeah, I would. Just do shield. I would also like to say, I don't have any control over Kiradok. Oh, I can't see his shield. I gave you permission. What in the fuck? That's alright, um... You don't need to call, uh, yeah, I can't see for that thing. Dun, 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 dun. Hit 22 back on, don't worry. Uh, let me quickly, you sh- I've... Caradoc, configure owner. Let me see if I can see it now. Oh, wait, J, owner, bang. Bam, but there we now. go. Yeah, I can, I can see it now. Cool. And for instance, I'm going to pull Caradoc sheet over to the side, and... Uh... To take someone, you just gotta float on over and give them a good old possession. Caradoc's gonna fly over here. <gasps> he's gonna think, and he's just gonna go. Excuse me, I'm gonna go. 
borrowing your body for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and... That don't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use possession. Alright, uh, clock it on the sheet. Mm-hmm. Baralis. What's up? Uh, I need a charisma save from yourself. Chat up. Uh, Ooh, just, just. Doing anything else with your turn there? Let me see if I can. Uh, possession was the one action. Divine whispers is the only other thing I believe you can do. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Throw me another. To who? Say. Rallis, why not? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, wisdom save. Uh, you should be better at that, right? Uh, I will I mean, see we don't know. fail. My rules are always a bit. <laughs> You're the outlier. Okay. Wisdom. Okay. Uh... You must immediately use your reaction to make a melee attack against another creature of Cardock's choice. Mm-hmm. But, but wasting a reaction, there are no other creatures within reach. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I didn't read. I didn't read that as best as I can. Uh So he's got no reactions and no creatures within reach. So on the up hand, yep. you are free to just back on up. Swing it yep. at myself. <laughs> back up down here. How how far? Okay, dang. You got forty foot fly speed, mate. Yep, that's crazy. Hey, Melano. Cool. Uh, now for the fun one, can uh, Revel make a private D20? I now need to start writing down all these D20s. Yep. Uh. Pass, fail. It's just a flat D20, it doesn't yep. really matter who I roll it as. Pass, fail. Same? No, I've seen that Pass, what? fail. Yeah, what the fuck? That's alright. <laughs> Kill. Renard! Last verse, same as the first. Caradoc was fain all alone. But now he's. <laughs> Why did Caradoc roll that? <laughs> it says John for me. Anyway. Renard, do you hear the sounds of battle? The noises, the screams, the blasts. You cannot bring yourself to come up. Roll a d4. Cool. I'll give you a vision. Dun, 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 there we go. No point in you sitting in darkness. You are unconscious for that amount of time. <coughs> three for three, mate. Bryn. Lay on hands to who? And for how much? You're muted. Oh, my bad, my bad. I want to lay on hands myself for all 15. Okay, plus 15. Bim bang. <gasps> you feel better. You feel you feel like you got this. Did it now, your turn? Uh, nope. Q. Exodus, you watches through the light comes this rather odd figure. Ghostly, handsome man. That you have never seen before. I know he is likely also an enemy. So, but knowing that he's a ghost, you you so you would you would look to his the dagger for a second. You say, "I would use you more," but you are a fucking asshole. You would, you would say, "Not allowing me to attack with other weapons besides you, even though you make me take damage 
from attacking undead. That's uh, you, you're a dick. You're a dick. And then he would begrudgingly put it away and take out the rapier. And he's gonna go in to attack Cardock. <laughs> I've put um, two sticky notes on this page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just calling his, his guy a dick. So, disadvantage, but then it's brought even because of the surprise? You had no idea you were there, yeah. Alright, sweet. I am Booming Blade, the first one. Yep. Uh, let's see it. Oh! Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, no. Alright, second one, second one. You know. <laughs> Second time's the charm, always. Second one? Five. Ah, oh, you gotta get better at this, buddy. I'm, I'm just confused. Sick. Oh, offhand. <laughs> no, no, not even offhand. Hold on, not even offhand, I'm hasted. Oh, yeah, hasted. Yeah. Yep. You motherfucker, you stupid ghost. <laughs> He's like, why do, you, why do you look so handsome for a ghost? That doesn't make any sense. Look worse. <laughs> Devilish, yeah. isn't it? He's gonna, he's gonna back away. <laughs> next to, next to Alice. Um, actually, yeah, no, 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 no. He's gonna go from here. He has sixty foot, so then he's just gonna. You know what? No, 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 no. It's fine. He'll go by Alice in the corner, and that'll be his turn. Oh no. Yeah. You laughed at epic last time. How's this for his shoes? <laughs> Dust Devil Caradoc <clears throat> Caradoc Right over Hey uh I didn't forget about you Come here You gotta make I a uh, Strength save And throw a DC 16 mate. Me? Yep I do Okay what's happening? Dust Devil Okay that's cool <clears throat> Strength save Ooh yeah. DC 15 and said. the knight has to make a... Already done it. Okay. Cool. Uh, wow, that is actually a really good number, given what I'm seeing here. Um, cool. Yeah. You take the bludgeony damage. Mm-hmm. Caradoc remembers the dust devil. And I still have movement, so I'm going to... You look here, that is a sheer here. cliff. As you look yeah. on it, you see, okay. you see Never mind. I don't know that you see the city of Calaman. This is a huge hole that seems to be punched out of the side of it. And you see just off in the distance these two small beating wings. The distance you can ascertain, however. That's too bold an image to be a fucking seagull. Is it coming closer? It's going away. Okay. Two and two together, that's clearly Lord Soth. Okay. And I'll... I guess I'll move over here just in case. Okay. Melano just stays right there at the cliff and I just fly over and use a shove action. <laughs> one th <laughs> one thunder step later. <laughs> a thunder clap. Did I announce your turn? Um, that's me. Cool. Morales. Hmm. Uh. Miss. Miss. All right. Was that point. me? No. Uh. Salamir. Uh. Do you know what you're talking about? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. Salmir so will look at Bryn, who's been doing all of this. Take his sword. Fire all two into you before firing off his. Uh, can he even do that? That's out of range, never mind. Uh, <coughs> sorry, Bryn. You take three sword. Mm. A whole three sword. I'm gonna watch the first one comes in as it does. Curtains. You oh. also fall. You watch then. Salamir 
moves towards Boralis. Let's off the second one. 25 for 16. Before taking his small axe from under and just jamming it right in and up. 22 for 8. As it does you... <gasps> he seems to turn menacingly towards the party. Caradoc, I need a charisma saving throw, firstly. Okay. Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Continue with your turn, as it were. Okay. I'm gonna go and see our nice buddy over here, Exodus. Hey, buddy. Uh, your possession is a recharge, so you can go ahead and hit the recharge button to see if you recharge your possession. Um, I'm That's gonna uh, do withering touch instead. Yeah. I like the word wither. Sixteen word. for thirteen. Well hit. You get two of those. He's gonna get another one then. Uh, it will actually miss because I'm hasty. I have plus two my AC, so which is actually seventeen. Good looking at. Uh, can I still both miss? Is a recharge an action? No, the recharge is free, but you can no longer use the possession. You do not recharge. Okay. Do anything else? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me see if anybody's close to anybody. I think everyone else is down, but close to death. Hey, uh... Renard, are you up? Unconscious and asleep. Oh, okay. Then... Yeah, that's the last of my turn. Okay. Uh, P is right. I'm just writing down my table at this point. You know what? I'm going to be safe and sorry. Exodus. P. F. Because we never know at this point. And then Melano, P, Wayne, Dash, F. I have a death, well, saving, I have a death saving table for fucking everyone now. Ah, okay. Speaking of death saves, Revel. Revel time to death save. See, this my thing about Death save. Battle coming through. As you gasp and grasp and gasp and grasp. Bernard, you are unconscious. So, no seeds used for you. You're now just a spectator in audio form. Bren, can I have privately 1d20, please? Oh, shoot. Let me run back real quick. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. How do I do a private 1d20? Hold uh, Top of your chat there, or your top of chat box, you got a bit that says, uh, Private GM oh, yeah. rule, and then just in there, private GM slash R1D20. Okay. Alright. Okay. Down. So start to breathe heavily, the necrotic damage burning away. Exodus. Alright, so I am stuck between a, a rock and a hard rock place. Rock and a hard place? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's only me and Malino up, and there's a cliff that way, right? There's a cleft that way. So, this is, uh, and I'm low on health, I got no spells, and this guy in front of me is not looking damaged at all, is he? No, he's looking... He, he's taking he something, failed. but he's looking good. He he's still looks as good. handsome as the day he died. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do what is known as a, uh, uh, I'm gonna... Pro gamer move. <laughs> I'm gonna do a pro gamer move, and I want. <laughs> I want. I want to summon a warhorse. Oh, <laughs> but All not right. to ride on out of here, because they're not spectral. Like I, I was hoping. And I need to. <laughs> and I need to copy Renard's warhorse. But <laughs> I, I plan to have it just attack. And then I need to take can the, the, the horse. Can the horse make medicine checks? No. <laughs> okay. It can't, can't, like, nibble on, it can't like, nibble on Bree's ear. Got out. Uh, 18 AC. Uh. There we go. Uh, 
I'm gonna say flat 18, but it is wearing like a, uh, I think it's like plate mail it says it was wearing or something. Right, uh, does it take its turn after me, during my turn? Um, does it they get their own initiative roll and can go uh, as their own self because they're not so like they even though they are technically summons they're also technically like <coughs> creatures that sort of well drop it in as you kind of expend one charge of course you can ask it to make attacks uh oh shit you don't have access to that sheet i'll ask that in a moment because you need access so you can see we're we have npcs in play here people oh yeah I'm using my on someone a horse. It's uh, it's one of those games. Uh, there you are. Dun da da. Man, I, I I honestly thought that Avernus was good, but this this is right up there. Uh, so the warhorse rolled a thirteen for initiative, so I'll just manually update it to be a thirteen with initiative. There we go. And you can use uh, I believe it's like a bonus action to command it to do stuff. Oh, it just says that it's linked to me. I can just talk to it, but I could be wrong. Um, let me check the item. Uh, this charm two charges in action. Expend one charge. Uh, summon a warhorse wearing plate mail. Warhorse serves you for 24 hours. So I think with that one there, um, I'm going to use find familiar rules, if that makes sense. All right. I will command it with a bonus action then to attack the handsome ghost. Yep. And I will then use my attack action to attack the handsome ghost. Yep. Um, let's see here. I have disadvantage still because it wants me to die. Uh, I need, hold on, I need to select. I hate when I have that. 22, oh, I have to do disadvantage. No, nope, it's a 9. Sorry, did I know yep. that? Yep, and then I'm moving. Alright. I'm moving, I'm grooving. Um, 15, I will, actually, hold on. No, no, no. 10, oh, fuck. 10. 35, 55, and then 60. You go to Melano and say, hey, what's the game plan here? What? But we don't, but I don't think we can get, but I don't think we can use this exit. Oh, that's a really bad exit. Yeah. Do we flee though, leave the others to die? Uh, uh. <laughs> I already did that once. I kind of don't want to do it again. As a uh, Caradoc watches Exodus go past him, he's right. That's right, run, coward, run! Oh! <laughs> and, uh, Leave uh, your friends to die. We'll take really good care of them. Exodus would shout back, if you're so good, then why'd you die in the first place, fucking loser? And then that's that's it. Unlike you, I live it on death. Um, <laughs> it's got you there, bonus, man. <laughs> bonus action, I will move the dust devil. So and if he and if he fails a saving throw, I will I will throw him ten feet towards here. Strength check. Uh, Cardock, DC is 16. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll do the That's thingy. Right. Um, we'll get the damage and just wait for Cardock to roll first. Uh, Cardock. Okay. Wind strength saving through. Cool. Uh, Dama, you get thrown 10 foot in this direction. Damage. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Three. That's three bludgeoning. And then I will use my action to do <coughs> fire on both of them. Hmm. Karadok, you want to make that uh, de uh, dexterity saving throw? Sure thing. 
deck save. You take seven radiant and I'm Gucci. Okay. Then I'll shoot up. One save, one save, yes, one save fail, okay. Um. I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay. Then, Bralis, top of your chat box, private GM roll, and then in the box, slash R1D20. What was it, what do you want me to So, top of your chat box, you're gonna see a bit that says public roll. Click oh, that, yeah, that, set it to blind GM, and then slash R1D20. Okay. 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 Maybe we can try stabilizing the unconscious people. But I don't think we can... And maybe yep. drag them on the horse and run away. So, didn't you buy health potions? I did. But I don't know how many you guys have left. I give you each one. How much do you have left? Wait, you give it the, You hear these sounds of battles, everything starts almost fleetering and fluttering. Your vision seems darker than normal. Is on top, you know, there is a looming figure. Warhorse, it says it's an enemy, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. You yeah. should be able to just double check for me, you can double click it and open up the NPC sheet first and foremost, mate. Yep, I got it. Yep, you should have movement and be able to do your thing. And I need to open up another sheet. <laughs> let me see what this is real quick. Let me let me look at this real quick. Uh, I need to move twenty foot and then. How much is twenty feet if you think about it though? Uh, well, it has sixty foot movement, so could it go this way? Needs to be a just be in a straight line. So as long as you can make a straight line. Yeah, twenty five feet, fifteen. That's forty five feet. Yeah. So. <laughs> He would, you know, the horse would back up this way because it's war horse, and then charge straight at ugly McUgly face. Fifteen foot of movement. So, and then hit. I have to hit with a hoof attack. That was only fifteen foot of movement, Matt. I thought it was down here. Yep, oh, it's well. a large token. Oh, if I move down here then and move from corner to here, oh, that's only fifteen foot. Uh, he's just not going to be able to deal with the size of the room. It can still hoof attack and all that, it just can't trample. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll, he'll just hoof attack. <laughs> Mostly horse would nay and go to wreck shit. Would go to crit. Right, give me do more damage to so the crit, do more damage than uh, I can. Hold on. 20 for 20. Okay, uh, I'm just checking. The attack there is plus four, plus two. Yeah, plus four, plus two. And that's good. Um, just because it is technically, it's technically spiritual. I want to double check. Um, it says summons a warhorse. So yeah, no, you're good. It's the right token. You kind of bring it in twenty for twelve as you give the good battering for six. <laughs> that's that's a start. Cool. Salamir being Salamir will look at yourselves. You will try move around. Fighting with every movement that he makes. This uh this warhorse is a spirit as well, correct? Um no, it's hmm. actually just a standard warhorse. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. I had to check it against it just a kid, but yeah, no, a uh, standard warhorse, because if it were a spiritual warhorse, it wouldn't have trample. Okay, okay, okay. As you watch, see, he kind of takes the sword and puts it back before leaning down once more and firing left, right, and left. The throwing axes. Exodus, Melano, Exodus. Exodus, 24. Yeah, that hits. 17. 17. I had to make a con save. I failed the con save. That makes me exhausted, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. One round. Melano. Shield no longer up. 16. This comes in. Boom. boom, boom. What are you still concentrating on? Even I'm... That's the devil. Oh. You've just been constantly concentrating on stuff. And then, because of your sanity checks, I don't. I want to make sure I'm doing this right for you. Um, tie that down there. 
So after the spell ends, a wave of lethargy sleeps away. Ah, oh, great, lethargy. Tell me what that means. That you can't move or do anything for one turn. Cool, and attacks are standardly normal, I'm guessing. Wait, I can't do anything for one turn? You, I thought I said exhaustion. You can't do anything for one turn. Attack. Ah. Turn up, charisma. Go, move. Save. Okay. Let me tell you charisma save for. Uh, because if you fail it, like you just did, this fight is Wait. just changed. Wait. The fight is just changed. Caradoc. Huh. Oh, hello. She just watches Caradoc seems to just start being pulled away violently before. <laughs> Gone. Rebel, can I have a D20 roll, please, privately? Of course. Fun while it lasted. Where's <laughs> Rebel on the... There we go. Rebel's up at the top. Okay. And then Bren, can I have a D20, please? Alright. Pop that off. Okay. I'll get that done as soon as. But I'm still wet tonight, so... Yeah. So when I'm when I'm done, I think we'll need to go to B and Q then and get uh silicon. Okay. The strangest and weirdest of all moments is this fight draws on and on. It may only not even have been a minute. As it were, Bryn, you lie there, gasping and gasping, and gasping, until you are no longer gasping. Oh no. The very Your breath from my love. The final breath that you take has this odd feel to it. This heavy note. As it were, all of you is in the room, alive. This ancient tomb has this odd floral smell of chrysanthemums. <laughs> it's brand new here. It's this snortling noise. Almost of a pig. Well, what have we here? Exodus. I am sloshed right now. I've taken the drink from the divine jacuzzi and I've had the divine, uh, what's it called, the, the lean. And now I'm slow. Yeah, I can't do anything. Is that? <laughs> Melanor. Uh. I guess I'll. Mind sliver. <laughs> as an action. gonna fire this off and you watch as it looks movement still broken then anything else with your turn and As a bonus action, I'll move the dust Double. devil. Yep, I'll get it moved for you. Wham. You made a second one. Bim bang. You're going to bring a dust devil to here, and he would technically still be within that for it. Yeah. Don't see, does, he, does this do half damage? I forget. If it's a six, 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 yeah, it's half damage. Cool. 
and not pushed. Cool. Yeah, cool. Uh, don't worry, Bryn, I will get a hold of you later. Alrighty. Everybody have a good day. You too, bud. Apologies. See you, Bryn. Bye. Bye bye. His first roll was a nat one. Oh. Oh, sorry, it's for two, three, for threes. Oh, sorry, are you doing yeah. anything else with your turn there, Melano? That's all I can do. Boralis, privately 1d20, please. What a session. Uh, epic. Well, it's still the blind GM rule. Blind GM, yep. Cool. And then, as you're gonna listen in, and fading in and out the noises, the bangs. The war horse. <laughs> <Nee! laughs> war horse, technically a sentient creature. Would would move all the way over here. Weep weep weep. Ten, twenty. Bam. He's getting the hoof. He is getting the hooves. Nice. <laughs> Do you want to tell us how the horse just killed the bad guy? Yes. Did it? Did it? <laughs> three health left. So, three health. So Exodus, <laughs> he's injured, right? And he can't issue another command. But the war horse knew to attack, and he's sort of like gr grasping his hand and looking towards the war horse, like you can do this. And the war horse just. Scared by the dust stuff at first, but goes around and just nah, and just leaps into the not leap, but raises its front, moves into the air, and then slams down on the back of Slarlamir, dropping him prone to the ground. And just looks to Melano, bloodied, having exactly one HP, and says, oh. <laughs> "Did we do it? I think we did it. I think we did it. And I'm gonna." And I'm gonna run to Nope. Revel. I can't run. It's way too close at this point to have you running around making checks. I need to keep it an initiative. Revel, I need an RD20, please. Oh, okay. Please pass, please pass, please pass. Do you lie there, the heartbeat. Is too? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of unconsciousness going on here. <clears throat> he, he's, he's making death saves. You're asleep. You're good. Um, everything in your world is fine. <laughs> How Exodus. long was I unconscious? This is round um, three that I, I said two rounds. Out. You are unconscious now because you, because you've passed all your saves. You are unconscious for two hours. So you, you just sleep for two, two hours, hours and then you can regain one health. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, there is okay. very obviously going to be some rests done here. Uh, Exodus, as you kind of come back from that wave of lethargy, feeling taken, you watch as two of your party members are lying, breathing heavily. One breathing peacefully. One no longer breathing. But... Uh... Breeze, their their breathing does not seem. Do they seem stable? Two of them do not. One of them does. Right. You, you which the two? two do not, which two do not seem stable? Boralis, who you watched go down, and Revel, who you put down. Technically, that was Melano. But he would turn to Melano yep. and says, "I can get to Boralis faster." You. Take yeah, care. was it was just about to suggest that, yeah. And then he would bam fifteen. Just don't go through the dust devil because you're gonna have to make a strength saving throw. Right, no, he's gonna go through the horse, but he's like I'm gonna hey. stop concentrating. I'm gonna stop concentrating. Thank you for the 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 warning about to avoid the, the dust so demon. Because you would have died if Still you like, even got to drop you concentration. On, got to drop concentration on your turn, so you're still gonna make that save, mate. We're I'm still in initiative. I'm not walking into it though. 
You're still walking within that five foot range that everyone else has been. Oh no! Oh sorry. <laughs> I don't. But I, I would have seen that the square is, is a five foot square. It never said anything about. Dust it, the, be, it's dust it's, it's misleading. Five foot. Well, yeah, but I would have known that it's misleading. Okay, then the horse would have taken damage because the horse was in five feet of it. You didn't have the horse. You didn't have the horse take damage. Horse moved there, done that. Yeah, horse should have made a strength saving throw. Uh, let's see. It's, uh, then I'm gonna... Ends its turn within five foot there. So, but never mind. No, because you end your turn there. So, horse will have to make a strength save real quick. Um, horse fail. Horse takes it. Uh, horse got a 14. I'll reveal that. So, yeah, horse would take right. You got to end your turn there. That's on me. You can technically pass by without issue. Uh, I feel the Wait. only issue you're going to have is potentially the walling on this, but don't worry. Right now, I'll move 25 feet here, then 30 feet here, and <laughs> I'll use my action. I, I I'll use my action to try to medicine check him, but let me let me listen. Stabilize him. Stabilize I, him. I, I, I'm gonna, I, I know. What, what do you think I'm doing? I'm, not, I'm just gonna jerk him off real quick. Is what I'm thinking about. Yeah, no, I'm gonna stabilize him. Um, but I have disadvantage on it because of one level of exhaustion. Is that, is that true? Uh, does haste give you a level of exhaustion? I'm pretty sure. I thought haste gave you a level of exhaustion once you were over with it. No, I guess not. For some reason, I thought it was a level of exhaustion, I, but it's not. Yeah, if I check the roll twenty compendium, uh, it just says no. Here. It's not. Yep. And eighteen. Can you, can you link the spell again? Uh, I don't. Let me. Yeah, let me check. I only have this. The horse speaks. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, for some reason I thought it was uh, exhaustion. Might be like that in three point five. I don't know, but yeah, eighteen. Eighteen. Choose a winged creature that you can see within range. <laughs> the horse speaks. is good and just now sleeping it off. I'll Sweet. move over to Melano. Yeah, Sorry. I'll go check on Revel and try to stabilize him as well. Yeah. Yeah, both of which are stable and good to go. So where you are now in here, I will move the poor dead Bryn to over here. And how, how about we, we take a very rare thing. Let's take five minutes. Let's take yeah. this, because that was, okay. that was something. That was, that was something. Man. Not dead. I'm telling you, if he, I, if Caradoc didn't fail his charisma check, don't be dead. That would have been a party wipe. Yeah, hello, hi, hi, it's Eric Matthew here. Hi. So, um, I would get to switch the microphone. Um, I don't do it till a little bit later on for this coming up session. There's not much left, thank goodness. Um, but you're gonna kind of hear a really quiet doubled audio. I'm gonna up it, but I can't do anything about the dupl duplications. I do apologize. I had um. This microphone here, kind of hooked all the way over here, and I was talking through the headset microphone, and so it duplicates. So yeah, I do apologize, and we should have no issue, I do resolve it, but everything that you do kind of mess over will be picked up again, uh, beginning of next session. Enjoy. Yeah. This is Quick question: Is that conversation in Exodus's head, or are we hearing him talking to his weapon? It would be, however, mm. he wishes to fold that out as B. But I will say, for now, you are now in this particular room. The <clears throat> smells are fading. As everything mm. passes by, the dead gone. Bryn lies dead. Cardock gone. Salamir gone. His tomb now there. Um, couple things. Yes. Well, uh, we need to mm. get Bryn's body back 
up so we can give him her full rights of his Islamic night a funeral. Yeah. And while we're here, uh, this apparently because of the statue here appeared this crypt may contain some items that may be useful to us, so I think we need to do a full search of the, the crypts down here for anything that might be of use. Uh, Are you speaking of today, Robin? Are you speaking of Robin from the Knights of Salamnia? No. I would never I mean, rob. Dare you. This is their you don't, You've never dealt with the military. It's not robbing. It's appropriating. <laughs> it's the... these, these are crypts. These are, these are bar barracks. This is not a this is not a quartermaster field, Renard. I'm, I'm so they sick. Want, they it's would so want us bad. to have whatever we need to help defeat what we're going after. You left to have you. I'm so proud of you. Your first grave Re rebel, rebel, <laughs> rebel, rebel. We will do so with reverence and respect. Come on. With reverence and respect, rebel's gonna hop in. <laughs> Gonna what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a look at the um, the main tomb right here, here, uh, in this place, and see what's in here. <clears throat> this is you are looking around, uh, Renard. You you're gonna walking up to the the area in which this whole fight started, already tentatively in thinking, but you know, you first thing glancing in, there's not another body in there. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but what if it was? Could I, with reverie and honor, search the uh, the the flaming skull, dude? He's he's gone, mate. He's, he's oh, he with the he turned to ash. Basically gone. Yeah, he he was on fire the whole time. He didn't leave like his awesome weapon behind. To cringe. It's on fire. He's just gonna like you. He, he's just gonna say out loud. He didn't leave his awesome weapon behind. That's such a bummer. And then Razor's gonna be like, "What? Why would you want another weapon? You have me. Am I not good enough for you? Right? Am that I not good it. enough for you? <laughs> uh, you look into here, Bernard. I will say, you see this very distinctive and. Absolutely age-worn, destroyed, rusted, grimy, bent out of shape. Spear of about maybe as long as a dagger. <coughs> There's not much left of it barring the head and a little oh. bit. Is that a dragon lance? Uh, you can make a re intelligence check, arcana, or religion and find out. Okay. I'll make a religion check. I'll make a... I'm not gonna check, and I'm gonna guide myself. I definitely guide myself. So. I will just give it the good old college try without any of the fancy dancy. Uh. For everyone, you just look at that and you're like, <gasps> that's, that's, that's a dragon lens. This Bernard looks at it. No, this is fucking useless. <laughs> <laughs> DC <I> 12. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's useless to him, I'm gonna. Draw I mean, and he's the most, he's the one that is most important. <laughs> um, a night, nothing. I'm, but I'm, gonna let him, I'm gonna let him know, draw it, and be like, and give it to Renard if if I can, and go like, you should be the one to use this. It will be most useful in your hand. The broken spear. Yes, most definitely. Yeah, have you heard the legends about this thing? Oh, absolutely. No, I'm not from. I'm not from this place or planet or whatever your your arcana intelligence was oh wait you you were seeing if it was magic i no, was, I was seeing... thinking if it was the if it was the real thing oh then you know i mean i don't know the thing but i just wanted to say check, check if it was the real one like i don't know sorry <sighs> i'm <laughs> confused yeah I he was just like he just went like <gasps> You all know it's a dragon lance. <laughs> yeah, but what do you... Wait, never mind. We're gonna have to find somebody to... Is the crypt you. still shaking? No, and all the all the fires have actually gone out. Okay. No more violent fire around. Barring the brazier in the room, which had some things in it that did catch a light. 
well with reverence and respect. I'm gonna check the other. <laughs> yep. Uh, there's like four more in this room. Roll an initiative. Uh, no. <laughs> roll an investigation check. Roll initiative. Hmm. I kind of don't want to investigate now. That you're <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a slip of the tongue. Yeah, slip of the tongue. Did you? Can I give it a creak and a look? There are more dead bodies in there and Salamnic armor with rusted swords. Okay. Um, with, no, mommy. <laughs> with honor and revenance, I would like to it's take be a thing, uh, it? It's going to be. Apparently. Was Bree's body of Bree who died again? Was it Bralis who died or Bree? Bryn. Bryn. Bryn, you take Bryn's body. I'm going to put it on the horse, and I would like to make a sleight of hand check to see if I can pickpocket him when no one's looking. Take his shit. Yeah. Oh, no. Her shit? Oh, her shit? Um, so yeah. So you're going to feel in. Uh, you really don't feel barring. You really don't feel too much barring some hunting lure and perfume in her pockets. You can see on her back there are. <clears throat> shield, javelin, longbow, greatsword, heavy crossbow on the side, and a necklace to carry jewels. Bryn lived a simple life. Hmm. He whispers something about why couldn't you have had more money? But that's the, the funny part is nobody looted Fane's body. <laughs> That over. We love fame. Nobody did. <laughs> We're kind of busy with something. We didn't have time. We were going to loot his body later once we got back to town. But then the war happened. Mm. Um, war were declared. So yeah. He's going to wake war up from and be it. like, wait, where did all my stuff go? <laughs> <laughs> Put Bryn on the war horse and <clears throat> use that to carry her out. Yep. No, I just thought she kind of just looks peaceful on the back of a horse. I kind of wanted to see if a dead person could ride a horse. Yes, it's to carry her out. Yeah. Well, let's. So, uh, I'm going to open <clears throat> these doors here. All right. Well, I will say I'm going to make this uh, considerably easy for everyone. Everyone bunch up. Okay. Even the horse. Come on. Even the horse. Come on, horse. Oh, that's going to that's, that's be kind of impossible. Come on, horsey. That's going to be a little impossible. Horses can't go upstairs. Uh, How would that yeah. attitude? No, they, 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 they physically can't. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I know, I know a way they can go upstairs. I can't they go upstairs. I've seen horses go upstairs. Oh, is it downstairs then? Oh, probably downstairs. I don't know. Uh, I, I know there's one of them that horse can, but anyway, uh, we'll see if you just go through the whole area. Just because of how it is. Um, the fire's gone, having seen everything there is to see in that regard. There's no death that comes to you. No visions. Just eerie, haunting quiet so we'll get all up the stairs now and it only took the horse up for fuck's sake <laughs> I mean and you, you couldn't take the horses up I am moving <laughs> all these tokens and it's like yeah I'm gonna do one at a time We're like fucking really it, it just looks like you're shoving it's like it looks like you're backing us up and then shoving us up against the wall and we all just squeeze through nothing down there useful Anywhere. No. It didn't look like it. In that room I searched, I had an investigation of like 26. And he was like, rusting swords. Dudes in armor. <laughs> we'll see, as you are now here. You know, it's been a few hours since the guards are back as everyone seems to be looking round at yourselves. Let's see, I'm going to guard... Watches as a horse ascends the stairs with you. <laughs> as he kind of 
looks um they're in the library I, I assume they'll want to know what's happened down there as that was blocked off for many years and we'll just say that they're a horse with you because that token ain't getting through that door <laughs> wait we're still playing or not it's not over yet sorry session not yet no there's like one page which everyone said they were cool with okay you, you would recording. uh you would leave the horse outside you tell him to stay outside and be a good boy or girl yeah. uh, you pet the snout so that's to the library i assume it's gonna watch as the ghost the elven woman points as you can see her, she's gonna points to the door over there, past the now somewhat cleaned war room. Mm -hmm. They're waiting. I asked the guard to take care of Brun's body and have it cleaned until and protected until I can uh, perform a ceremony for her. Well, you have to to the appropriate quarters. Along with uh, <laughs> the other one from earlier on. So you're going to take the body off <clears throat> to the other room. I'm sorry. Fucking foundry doors! <laughs> um, while walking by the ghost, he would look to the ghost and say, You're still here? Where else would I go? So was it? Where else the would I go? Can I continue? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Where are we going from here? The library. Realize I made a whoop bump up. Yeah, this is Barbok the library is down here. Literally this door that Lex oh, stands oh, in front okay. of you. Listen, oh, you. You, yep. you, gotta, you gotta open it. Go walk up. Oh, go up. Both of us are at this. <laughs> alright, alright. Walk in. You open the door. You see everyone else that's left. Rickle Dust, Darrett. Walk <clears throat> at Raven and. Marshall Vendry. You also see <laughs> one more person in the room. One Lord Bacaris Senior. As they all seem to look at you. As Vendry turns. Uh, what what's happened here? We've come to find that the governor is dead. There's a dead knight of Salamnia out in the, the room. There's two more dead by the door. What's... What, what's... What's... Make it quick. We, we don't have much time. Lord Soth came here after something. Not exactly sure what it was, but he made away with it. And we've lost... Bryn, as well as having to kill the other Salamnic knight who was possessed. The other? The one in the council chamber. When we arrived, we had found everyone slain in the council chamber. And it's been a long day. The Darrett yeah. kind of looks over. Soth's not a name that gets brought up right like but it has connotations. <clears throat> what what did it he they what what's happened there? Did anything get taken? Was 
do we have any inclination as to what's going on? The city was attacked and we've got here in time, but clearly they've left. Where are they going? We have to give some form of chase. <clears throat> they went north to somewhere... To the, nor to the northern ways, the place of soft dishonor. Yes. The possessed knight um, Sardamir told us that when he fought for <clears throat> control. Went to the city of law. Mm. See what's gonna Darrett looks. It's not a thing that we wished to hear, but we will we will see what we can do. Until then, I reckon that you should have done everything you could. I have no doubt. Take time. Rest up. I can only assure you of one thing. You will not be popular anymore. As it looks. There is a air around. Raven kind of turns. We should make arrangements for Bryn and uh, Fane to be returned to their relative homelands of uh, Gwalinesti Forests and Kendamore. It's a long journey either way. Um, if you are going to the north, you would have to go by boat. If you wish to go to Cornesti or Kendamore in that time, you may also take a detour. I guess uh, as well, this will no longer be needed. It's going to hold up a wear. As you see, it's very regal rating that says Bren. And she's going to just rip it in half. And as she places it on the chair, you kind of hear this metallic cling to it. As the room empties out, the <clears throat> party of council members left in ruin and wondering. Over the next few weeks, as everything is prepared, what was said was true. Yous were not popular. In fact, your popularity waned and waned. Whilst Marshal Vendy tried to maintain order in the new Calaman, whilst a leader was appointed, the Red Dragon army was splitting further. And with it, scouts from the north had indicated that yes, even the groups of Dragon Army soldiers were making their way to the northern wastes. In that time, the armour of the Salamic Knights, the honour of the Salamic Knights, and even your honour as a group, is tarnished. As Bakaris spreads vicious rumours throughout Calaman about yourselves. To any leader who will listen and any peasant who will listen. About your of course it's him. Terrorising well. your slaughter of the leaders of Calaman and how you did nothing at the battle of the Steel Springs. How you let his son die who use like Governor Mayak die, Lord Soth attack the castle, escape with whatever was in there, and you even got your two friends killed. Following weeks for yourselves is the worst weeks of your life. 
and that's where we're going to pick it up next time.